There we go, right on the dot. I mean, technically, because of the way I, I'm not even going to go into details about that because it gets cut off a little bit. Hello, all of you professional gamers out there in the world. I am Mega Amster, and welcome back to another live stream. So, um, took a little bit of a break from Skyward Sword HD last, uh, well, Thursday, that was just a few days ago, um, to stream some Smash Brothers with the Samus Amiibo training. That was a fun time. Um, it was good to just change it up a bit, so I'm not just streaming Skyward Sword every time I stream, but we're back to it tonight, and uh, my joy comp fell over. Anyways, back to it tonight. And, uh, yeah, this time, because last time uh, I actually did the Ancient System Dungeon, if I'm remembering correctly. And then uh, the next trial is going to be in the Lanayru Desert area, um, at least according to file, according to the song that we learned. But there's still a lot of side quests I have to do, so it's probably going to be, for the most part, kind of a low-key stream. Although maybe if I do get far enough into the Lanayru Desert, you know, if I, I want to check the side quests first, I'll do all upgrades, kind of stuff like that. Um, and then, you know, if we have time, explore some of the Lanayru area. I'm sure I'll get to some of it. I don't know if I'll get to the second trial tonight. That would be great. What would be super ideal, let me get chat up here, um, is if I were to do all these side quests and, you know, do all of the trial, the Lanayru area, and get to the start of the next dungeon, to time it with an extreme, that would be perfect. But <laughs> not everything always works out, so we'll see. Um, like I say at the beginning of any stream, any audio, uh, video issues, please let me know in chat. Um, I do appreciate that. I think the 1080p streaming has been going smoothly so far, at least from what I can tell, um, which is awesome. I'm so glad I can do that now instead of, you know, switching between 1080-30 or 720-60. Um, if a game isn't in 60, though, I think it's best to still stream in 30. So um, I got to do some research ahead of time if I am going to stream games. Like, for example, I'm going to be streaming... Uh, let me get into the game first. But I will be getting into... Um, some Donkey Kong Country, because I've, I wanted to stream like a short retro game just to switch off with a Skyward Sword. Like, kind of like similar to Smash, just something new and different to do, a little bit more refreshing. Um, that was the idea there, but the poll that I had on Twitter, um, Donkey Kong Country was one of the options in that one, which I was kind of thinking it was going to end up being Donkey Kong Country, and that's kind of the one I wanted to do anyways, so it kind of worked out. Um, but I think, so I did set up the Ethernet port finally. I have another Ethernet port that I need to use for the, um, well, I don't need to, but I want to use for the, uh, you know, to have like a wired internet connection for, for example, Smash Online, or uh, I was going to do the Nintendo Switch Online version of Donkey Kong Country. Just, I think, better emulation. It might even be more stable. I'm not sure. Um, but I have that set up, so that should be good to go for Tuesday night, which should be the first Donkey Kong Country stream. I've never beaten that game before. I've played it a few times with my friend. We've tried to see, like, played a couple hours how far we can get in, like, competitive multiplayer, but that's about it. Um, so it'll be my first time, like, actually completing the game, which is cool. Um, hello, Fledge. Okay, yeah, so I think what I have to do, even though I, I swore I tried to last time, is I think I need to visit Fledge at night. In, in his dormitory in order to get the Gratitude Crystals, I believe is what I have to do. Um, and now you saved your sister, right? The troublemakers around here. Failing the test to get to promoted to this new class. Oh, are you talking- Oh, is he talking about, like, Groose and his squad? Okay. Well, Groose is depressed, I think. Actually, last time I saw Groose, I think, was in the Lost Woods, right? Or not the- not the Lost Woods, the, uh, the Faron Woods area. I was watching a fear, uh, like a Zelda theory video on the Lost Woods. I think that's why I had that in my head. You swing the net to your side and say, "Oh, really?" Yeah, no, sneaking is not my forte, goalie. But that's what I gotta do. I gotta sneak up on them if I can get the chance. Um, is there something over here? Is that like what the heart is it telling me to like use the heart here? No, okay. There's just a bunch of butterflies. But it was worth a shot. Actually, what is... Okay, whose house is this? Oh, Oriole and Perro's house. Okay. I'll go around in daytime and see what side quests I can do. But I think most of what I need to do is probably at night. Um, okay, neither of them are in here. And I did, I think it was it last stream where I barely, like, super clutch did the, uh, the Fun Fun Island minigame. I don't know how I got that, but I got the piece of heart. Hey, Sloshical, how you been, man? How's it going? It's been... Well, it's been a little bit, because i have been away for a while, and uh, I know you were out of town for a bit, so yeah, it's, it's been a little bit. How have you been? You missed uh, you missed the Ancient Sister. That was a pretty good dungeon, although although I think I did end up liking the Lanayru Mining Facility just a little more. Uh, but the boss was really cool of the uh, the Ancient Sister, and that was really cool, the Kalakos boss. But it, it was a good dungeon overall, I'd say. Um, otherwise, I feel like you haven't missed much, mainly just side quests and stuff here and there. 
But uh, hey, good yeah, good to see you. Hope you uh, hope you had a good past couple weeks. I've been busy. There's a I got a new setup now because I'm in a new apartment, which is exciting, and I can actually stream at 1080p 60 frames now, which is great. Um, and yeah, actually, you've been you've been suck. Oh, oh no, you got COVID. I'm so sorry to hear that, Sloshical. Oh no, that's. I feel awful for you. I hope I hope you're doing okay. Get plenty of rest. Oh, mostly recovered. Okay, that's good to hear. Um, still though, that's yeah, that's not great. At least you're mostly recovered, but definitely still get plenty of rest. And definitely, you know, take the time you to uh, you need to recover, and hopefully you'll feel better eventually. But wow, yeah, that's brutal. I hope I hope like it wasn't um, you know, like a big like I hope it didn't like spread around um, in your area, because, yeah, that's just, that's unfortunate. But it's still out there, the Delta variant's still a thing, so we got, it, it's, it's, I feel like, I feel like we were getting, like, at least the mentality was that we were getting, you know, close to the end, or whatever, the, the light at the end of the tunnel that people were saying back in, like, what, maybe May or June, and then, you know, Delta showed up, and it's gonna be a little bit, unfortunately, so, who knows what they're gonna do, I don't know if, supposedly some source have been saying, like, they might recommend a third, like, a booster shot to everybody, I think for, um, immunocompromised people, I think they are recommending... A third booster shot, but they're not for not for just uh, people who aren't immunocompromised yet. But I don't know what they're gonna do. Um, either way, it's uh, yes. I'm sorry to hear that. Ooh, you gave it to your whole family. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's the thing. If you're if you're living with your family, I mean, it, it's almost unavoidable at that point. If one of you gets it, it just kind of spreads around. So, yeah, I'm really sorry. I hope they're doing okay too. I hope they're all getting plenty of rest. Because yeah, that just does not sound great. I had I had a bit of a COVID scare like a while ago, like honestly, probably even a year ago. Um, my brother got COVID because he he travels for his work. Um, luckily, he wasn't like living with I was living with my parents at the time, and luckily he wasn't living with us at that point. Um, but even still, it was you know it was kind of a risk. And then one of my friends from high school got COVID, and we had just hung out with him like maybe a week or two before, and so we all got tested. And it was it's I mean it's it's kind of. I don't know, it's kind of scary sometimes, because it's like, you never know, like, if you could have possibly been in contact with someone. But, like, in your case, like, there's no avoiding spreading it to a family. They're all doing better than you did? Okay. That's good. Well, I mean, not not great for you, but, I mean, it's it's good to hear that they're doing okay and that you're recovering mostly, too. That's that's great to hear, because, yeah, it, it's, it's not fun. I mean, I had, when I got my second shot, I had some side effects where it was, like, it was so weird, because, like... My, my first shot, I got, like, a mild fever. Then my second shot, I, like, woke up in the middle of the night, like, shaking, and it, like, felt really bad. But, like, I'm sure that's nothing compared to what, you know, actually having COVID was like. You had it the worst, but thank goodness it has passed. Yes, that that does not sound great. Um, glad to hear you're mostly recovered, because, yeah, that's just... Re it, it just sounds awful, so... Yeah, hopefully you'll be doing better. Hopefully you'll recover soon. Send in good vibes your way, my friend. But in the meantime, oh, oh, that was, I have no idea how to get that chest. I have absolutely no idea how to get that goddess chest. I tried like a couple streams ago and couldn't figure it out. Um, but uh, let me see what can I actually do during the day. I got what, 900 rupees. I think I needed like 1200 to get the final uh, adventure pouch slot. So I'm saving up a little bit for that. Um, but in terms of other side quests, I don't know. I could check the I could check the school again, the dormitory, see if anybody else has anything, but I feel like that might be it for now. And I don't have enough hold on, which button is it? Okay, plus. I'm like four gratitude crystals off from Hey, I appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I appreciate you've been you've been tuning in. Um, and I do appreciate that a lot, you know. Yeah, I'm missing four I, I need I need another four uh, gratitude crystals before I get the next tier of uh, rewards from Betro, but oh, you've been playing more Skyward Sword. You're at the final boss, but you're trying to finish up side quests. Yeah, no, that's fair. That's definitely fair. Um, yeah, because I mean, once you beat, I'm, I'm guessing this is kind of like you know how in some other 3D Zelda games, especially I'm thinking like Ocarina of Time. I don't know if. I don't remember if Wind Waker or Twilight Princess did this, but, like, once you beat the final boss, it doesn't really... 
save afterwards. It just kind of like you save right before the final boss and then like once you beat it, it just kind of goes back to that save. Like it doesn't actually, you know, save your progress after beating the final boss. I don't know. I mean, at least like Ocarina of Time Majora's Mask did that. I'm not sure about Wind Waker Twilight Princess. I'm not sure if this game does that. So like in that case, it makes sense. Yeah, go and do all the side quests that you can first. Do it now. And then that way you can do the final boss. Um, plus, I mean, like, yeah, it, it, the final boss is a nice way to just cap off the, the experience as well. So, like, if you, you know, if, if you do, like, the boss and then do a few side quests after, it's like, well, you've kind of already done the main thing in the game, right? Um, I doubt they would, like, lock you out of any side quests if you beat the final boss first, but still, you never know. Um, however, apparently, if you remember Sloshical, um... I think you were here for it a few streams back. Um, oh, wait. <laughs> is that Karain's room? It's locked? Okay. Oh, wait, no, that's Karain's room. Whose room is that? Probably one of the instructors. Um, a few streams back, I was doing this... Remember the side quest with uh, Colin? And he gives you the letter that he wrote to Karain. So he liked Karain. He wanted Link to give it to her. And instead, I brought it into the bathroom. and gave it to that hand in the toilet. But, like, apparently that locks you out of ever getting Pippet and Karain together. According to my friend who's played this game, like, a few times. That's what he said. He's like, you're literally locked out of that. I'm like, wow, okay. But I'm also, like, at the same time, I'm like, you know what? If it means Colin suffers less, it's probably worth it. Because at least that way, he doesn't get his hopes up too much. Um, so, I don't know. I don't know. I still think, I, personally, in my opinion, I think I made the better choice, even though, I mean, I guess Karain and Pippin never get together now, but they shouldn't get together at the expense of someone else. You know what I mean? Oh, you're, yeah, you couldn't do it with Breath of the Wild. Yeah, oh, Breath of the Wild did it. Really? See, that to me especially seems super weird, because, like, Hi. it isn't Link. Oh, and yeah, now that I threw away the letter, she's not, uh, getting embarrassed about Pippet anymore. Okay. Um, yeah, that's, especially Breath of the Wild to me seems, I don't know, a little, not archaic, but, like, especially a game like that where, like, side quests and exploration are, like, the main thing about that game. You'd think after defeating Ganon, you could still, you know, wander around the, um, the, the overworld and actually, you know, like, um explore other stuff it'd be really cool if they had i don't know if they did in breath of the wild have like um post final boss like specific side quests like that would have been cool but i mean i guess it's kind of what we're gonna see in breath of the wild too maybe but yeah no exactly i'm agree yeah i completely agree with you slosh well, colin gets destroyed more and like i don't like colin don't get me wrong but like that's still kind of a dick move to like yeah destroy him even more oh he's sleeping oh wait <laughs> That's the hand from the- that's the hand! That's the hand that was in the toilet! Look at what it's doing! What the heck? What is- What the heck? Oh, Feeny! That's- it's, it's, it's- she's a ghost, right? This is so funny. What? This is so bizarre. I, Slosh Girl, I know you were wondering what would happen if you didn't, uh- Yeah, I know you were wondering what would happen if you didn't, uh- Give the letter to... This is so weird. I met my true love. <laughs> what? This is so bizarre. Oh! But I get gratitude crystals. Okay, I'll take the gratitude crystals. I wonder if I would have gotten gratitude crystals if I, uh... Gave the look. I probably would have gotten some from Colin, to be honest. There we go. That's funny. But also really... It's kind of creepy. I kind of... I, I don't know how to feel about that, to be honest. It's kind of creepy. <laughs> Just having some ghost hand, like, petting you the entire... That's, uh, that's a little creepy, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, let me see if Fledge actually gives me the gratitude crystals that I need. Oh, okay, now he will. Woo! 57 push-ups. Wow, Fledge. He feels so sluggish. Maybe just run out of energy. You need some more stamina potion? Ugh, fine. I'll go get you another one. How many stamina potions is he going to need? Oh, you get gratitude crystals from Pippet. 
<laughs> Pippin's like, hey, I'm not single anymore. Take these gratitude crystals. I don't know. I'd rather get... Well, I'd rather get the gratitude crystals from the creepy ghost girl than Pippin. And in that, in that context, I'm not going to lie. Ooh. It's you, Link. Oh, right. I can give you bugs, can't I? Let's see which ones I have. I'll sell you whatever I can if I have it. How many have you got? Two? Okay, yeah. All of them. Might as well. <laughs> Sounds good to me. I want to save up for that last adventure pouch, too. Um, and now I gotta get uh, Bludgeon of the Stamina Potion. I'm trying to remember, was there a way... Mm. I had to I had to buy it during the day at the bazaar, right? There's no way I could fill it up without going, you know, buying it at the shop, I'm guessing. But let me see. Do I have any woodland rhino beetles? Two? Okay. Might as well. I don't think I really have a need besides selling it to Stritch to uh, catch the bug, right? I mean, for collection purposes, I guess. I kind of want to get at least one of every bug and then one of every material, but... Did he just call me Mantis Face? Stretch, come on, man. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You can literally see into Colin's room and I can hear him too. That's bizarre. Are you supposed to be able to see into his room from here? You only need to give Fledge one more potion. Okay, good. Because, like, <laughs> I was wondering, is it going to be, like, I don't know, like, five different potions on five different nights? Do I have any volcanic ladybugs? Whoa! Yeah, sell all of them. How much you give me for each? Wow, okay. Yeah, I'll take all those. Thank you. I got a lot of those. Oh, I'm so close to being able to afford the pouch. Okay. Well, what I'll do... I need to get one more potion for him, but... I don't think I can get it. I think I'd have to kind of wait until morning and then buy it. Now Colin's been crying himself to sleep in Groose's room. Colin just... He just kind of gets screwed over no matter what, doesn't he? Oh, yeah, I forgot I can't go out this way. He just kind of gets, you know, screwed up no matter what. But, like, I feel like this was still the least, you know what I mean? Like, the least uh, painful way. I don't know. Granted, I also wouldn't want, like, a creepy ghost girl hand petting me at night. I, I would also cry myself to sleep if that was the case. <laughs> How can he feel it though? It's a ghost. She's a ghost. I don't know how she can hit. I don't know how he can feel that. Maybe he just like senses his presence or something. I have no idea. I have an idea that I'm not sure if it's gonna work, but I kind of want to see. Ah, uh, I was kind of. I was trying to see if maybe I could scoop one of the uh, the stamina fruit into the bottle and then it would give me a stamina potion. I think I'm gonna have to wait. But let me. Uh... I can go to Patro and give him more gratitude crystals. But let me see. We agreed to keep that secret, right? Uh, you know, I think I talked to your mom about it, so sorry. <laughs> sorry about that, Pippet. But no, it's not going to let me. Okay. Let me see if there's anything at the instructor's, uh, the sparring hall. I just kind of want to check everywhere, just to be safe. In case I can do anything, but I'm guessing not. What's up, dude? Okay, bye. What did, um, what did the guy at the Lumpy Pumpkin say? Did he say to show up there at night? I feel like when I talked to him, I think it was at the end of last stream, I think he said I'm supposed to talk to him at night. I could be wrong on that. I should probably double check, but... Because they're not going to let me fly off the island at night, so I probably want to double check. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that's what he said, so that would be, uh... I'm thinking maybe there's a way to... But I'm guessing there must be a way to sleep over at the Lumpy Pumpkin Inn. They must have a bed that I can sleep in. And then I can talk to him about whatever... Uh, whatever uh, side quest he has for me. I don't know what I'm going to pay off his, uh, his debt, honestly. No! Go away. Let me check all the houses, too, just to see. You know, they're, they're leaving all their houses unlocked at night. I'm like, okay. I would never feel comfortable with that. Any of you have anything to say? No. What's up, Harrow? Yeah, well, Groose... I'm still trying to think. I think Groose is still at the uh, the sealed grounds. I think he's still there. I don't, I didn't see him come back ever. Should I go check up on him? You think he's okay? <laughs> Hopefully he's fine. 
Um, what's up there? I see. What what is up there? Oh, is it? Why is there a gratitude crystal up there? What the heck? Interesting. So I guess they could just kind of just be lying around too. Oh, I can go there at night, but sleep in it. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Slosh goes off to sleep there overnight. Why is this gratitude crystal here? Okay. Interesting. I mean, I'll take it, sure. A 32? Not bad, not bad. But Tro said I had to give him 30 next to, uh... To be able to get the next, like, upgrade or item or reward, whatever it is, but... I'd be curious to see how many I need. I'm, I'm guessing you probably have to do every single side quest in the game. To, uh... Have him actually become human. Also, speaking of side quest logical, I was able to do the uh, the Fun Fun Island mini game. I barely got the uh, the piece of heart from that. That was that was kind of tough to do because you have to like land through all the rings when you're falling down, avoid all those floating balls, and then specifically land on the 50 rupee spot. That was super hard to do, and I saw I somehow got it last stream. So that was probably the highlight of that stream. Um, Anybody have anything to say over here? Nah, okay, cool. But there are like 15 to 20 random gratitude crystals lying around at night. Oh, okay. Is there okay, is there a way without using like a guide, do you know, to keep track of like gratitude crystals? You know, like in terms of which ones you get. I mean I'm guessing maybe there's like I don't know, a hundred total. Some kind of like round like some kind of like even number like that. But I wish there was a way to keep track of like, how many and exactly which ones you had. You did it. It was annoying and anything but fun. Yeah. Well, well. Oh, no! I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hit you, but don't attack me. Um. Yeah, I mean, I, I, we'll, we'll see how that goes when uh, when I get to that. Oh, there's another one. Look at that. I guess I might as well just explore around uh, Skyloft a bit, huh? Get some of these. And while I'm at it, you know, see what other uh, side quests I can do, and then, uh, get some gratitude crystals. It'd be a nice low-key stream, though. I'm down for that. Oh, no. The choo-choo. Why do they call it the choo-choo? It's not even, like, a train or anything. I really, I really want to know. I don't remember if they mention it in the, uh, any of the Zelda books, but I want to know if, like... They have, like, the reasoning for some of the weird enemy names in Zelda. No! Sorry! I didn't mean to hurt you! <laughs> I'm running away now. At some point, you can douse for them, but you... Oh, really? Okay, I'm guessing once you get far enough in the game. That's, uh... I mean, that's good to know that you can do that. That's a, that's a good option to have. Can you, like, douse for, um... Only the stray ones that are lying around randomly? Or can you do, like, for example, you can check to see if someone has a side quest or something, you know? That would be kind of cool. Um, but I'm guessing it's probably just the stray ones that are just kind of lying around. But that's also good to check it. Like you said, if they're random and just kind of lying around. Oh, look, your, uh, your house is dirty again. You did it again. Come on. Let me... Uh... Oh, wait. Oh, it's not going to let me get out the Gus Bellas unless I talk to her. Sure you wave and say hello? Yeah, I'll, I'll try. I will try. I'm not cleaning your house again, not for free. Piece of heart, maybe, but... Doubt you're willing to give that up. Okay, whose house is this? Oh, Rupin's house, right. What is Rupin? Rupin does something at night. I gotta, I gotta remember what he does. I am not rolling into her dishes again, because that did not end well the last two times I did it. Nothing interesting happened, but... You wanna sell some treasure? <laughs> what are you buying? Oh, yeah, he, he um, takes treasure. You've only found the stray ones with the dowsing. That's what I figured. I was only wondering if, like, you know, if someone had a side quest you still had to complete, if, like, the dowsing ability would let you, like, it would target on, like, whose house or something. But I figured I figured they wouldn't do that, so it just makes makes sense, the stray ones. Do I want to sell anything? I don't know if I want to. How do I, how do I get out of here? No deal. Yeah, Rupin's kind of grumpy, isn't he? That's how he actually is, though. His his, his fake smile thing is just, uh, it's, a, it's all a show. It's all an act. Just to get those customers buying. I mean, supposedly it works. Kind of creeps me out, personally. <laughs> let me, uh, actually, let me check up a troll while I'm here. 
Because this place is literally right here, and I think Pukil's gonna be, uh, with him too. Or she should be. He's already ready for Halloween. Look at him. He's got the Halloween decorations going on and everything. Supposedly, my roommate and I are gonna have a Halloween party, um, at our, at our new apartment when that comes. He's like, oh, you gotta pick a costume, and I'm like, I don't know what I'm gonna do for a costume. I mean, part of me's always wanted to do a, uh, kind of, I guess kind of like a cosplay of, uh, Travis Touchdown from No More Heroes. I think that'd be really cool. Um, or Beat from Jet Set Radio, which I got the poster up there. You can see that. Um... Also, I didn't point this out earlier, but I got a lava lamp. <laughs> Literally just came in today. Because I kind of wanted to make my room like a 90s kind of theme. Hold on, let me just switch over to this really quick. You can see the bubbles, like... You can't really see them in the lamp itself, but if you look at the... That frame, the last frame painting on the bottom there, you can kind of see the bubbles moving around. I don't know. Just show it off. But that's there. Not that anybody cares, but just so you know. I ordered a bunch of other posters, too, just to kind of fill out the walls. So you might see those trickle in as it goes on. Um, some gaming ones, some music ones as well. So it should be good. But the gaming ones are all going to go behind me. I'm not going to say which ones they are. They're cool looking, but I'm not going to say which ones they are. You'll see a, You'll see eventually, I'm sure. I have gotten more gratitude crystals, but show. What do I get now? Ooh, a big wallet. Ooh, wait. I can already carry a thousand rupees, though. Did I... I think I got an upgrade to the wallet at some point. Maybe from Beetle. It's pretty cool. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, no, I just... It's kind of... I know, it's... It's uh, it's kind of a vibe. It's a vibe. I don't know. I like it. It's kind of dumb, but, like... I also need more lighting in this room. I have, like, a... I had to order new string lights, but they're not going to come in for a while. I ordered them from Etsy. Um, once those come in, I'm, I might have... I'll probably have better background lighting. It should be good, but... Um, it adds a little bit of light to the room, too. I wanted to go for the orange ones because supposedly like orange light is better than like bluish light for nighttime because like the blue light you, you I don't know if you've heard of like blue light glasses when um you know people I mean I'd probably use them myself I just don't know if they actually work um when you're looking at you know computer screens a lot or even phone screens like the blue light is what emits from it it's your little science fact of the day the blue light is emitting from those uh, from the screens and that kind of keeps you more alert and awake so it's not good to have that kind of light you know in um you know before bedtime. Uh, specifically, so that's why I wanted the orange one specifically, just for that, but... Anyways, enough with my random science rambling. Okay, uh, back to Betro. You have made such magnificent progress. I've, I've gotten quite a few now. A bit longer, okay. Whoa! Oh! A chest? Is this a piece of heart? Oh! Should not be opened. I want to open it. But Link, Link's supposed to open the chest. The infamous evil of the dreaded cursed metal. If you carry that metal, you'll... Well, th th that sounds good to me. What's the catch? Say what? Far, far worse. Any poor soul who holds that metal will find him. Oh, unable to open. Wait, wait, wait. So, essentially, un open the pouch. Is it talking like the items? So, can I just like not use any items, but I can get more rubies? Interesting. But, I mean, that's that could be useful though. If I want to farm rubies, I just wouldn't be able to use any other items in my pouch. It sounds like potions or shields. They'll be denied. You must never think of it again. Uh, I kind of want it. <laughs> I'm going for it. Ruby's and Churchill, yeah, it prevents your pouch from opening. Eek. I did it. Now you've done it. I'm gonna take it. Why wouldn't I? I suppose this also makes your kind so intriguing. Yeah, while you're carrying the metal. So I have to, yeah, if I, I gotta leave it at the item check. Okay. Well, okay, so here's the thing. Am I... Oh, hold up. Because normally... Normally the right bumper would open my item pouches, but at least it didn't work. It probably, maybe it's just because it didn't work inside. No, I don't think I can open it. Right, because normally, yeah, right bumper is what opens up the items, like shields and stuff. I can still use, like, dungeon items, which is good, but I can't use potions, I can't use shields. 
Um, so yeah, that's definitely kind of annoying, but like, there's got to be a trade-off somehow, you know, to um, being able to like get, I don't know how many more rupees exactly he said, but that's, that would definitely be helpful. Um, at least I can use my sword. If there was something like you can't use your sword, I'd be like, okay, maybe that's a little much. Um, the thing is, though, is that because I'm, I'm not gonna be able to, yeah, use any items at night, but I can't put it in an item check until I go back there during the day. Uh, let me check up, yeah, let me check Birdie's house just to see. But, um, yeah, so what I'm gonna need to do, because I need to bring the stamina potion to Fledge at night, I'm gonna have to, um, yeah, poor Birdie. She's just sleeping, he's always taking care of the baby. You gotta trade off, you gotta, it's gotta be balanced, you know? Uh, what I need to do is drop off the cursed metal during the daytime, then fill up the bottle with stamina potion and bring it to Fludge at night. That's what I gotta do. There's a mini game you're trying now, but that I suck at and can't beat. What mini game is it? Is it? I guess it, if if it's something that shows up later, I guess no spoilers in that case. But um, it maybe is it, is it one that I've already discovered like in one of the uh, kind of the main hub areas or? You gotta, yeah, go, no, definitely keep trying. I mean, some of them are tough. Is it, um, it's not the one in Elden, is it? The, uh, the one with the, um, where you have to dig up the rupees? That one's kind of tough. I think it's kind of like Minesweeper, but it's still really difficult. I was able to actually make, like, a profit off of it once, but it's, no, hey, hey, I'm not attacking you. I'm not attacking you. You're too cute. Um, if it's that one, that one's really tough. If it's another one that I haven't encountered yet, yeah, don't tell me, because I'll be interested to see what it is. Um, is there anywhere else I can go? Or like, any other any other side quests I can do now, where I think I just kind of want to head back and uh, wait till morning and then get rid of the stupid, the stupid metal. I shouldn't say stupid, because it's definitely going to get me more rupees, that's for sure. Maybe I should test that out by going to see if... Uh, so we can find some tall grass or ooh, with pots. There we go. Wait, I don't get it. Wait, so maybe it doesn't like increase the amount, the ruby amount that you get. That's what I thought I was gonna do, but maybe I, I wasn't paying attention. Maybe he said, yeah, no, the the amount is the same. But maybe maybe I can just hold more. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think I don't. I don't think there's really anything else I can do at the moment. So let me head back, and I'm gonna. Is there anything down there actually? No. Okay. No. Why did I do that? Okay. <laughs> Why did I do that? So let me sleep again till morning, and then I'm going to get rid of this metal, and then I'm gonna go buy the stamina potion. You can do the minigame now, but you haven't done... Oh, I haven't done it yet. Is it just, like, an area I haven't explored? Hmm, okay. Well, yeah, then I guess don't tell me. Um, maybe I missed it along the way somehow. But, uh... I'll have to see at some point. I'll probably... I'll run into it eventually, I'm sure. Okay. I'm gonna take a nice cat nap until the morning. I want to sleep. Yes, until morning. I guess, what would be the point of sleeping 24 hours? Like, is there a purpose to sleeping until, like, say, like, I wanted to sleep until the night again? Maybe certain side quests you have to wait a day, I'm guessing. That's probably the purpose of that, but... Okay. Still got this, uh... This cursed metal on me, so let's get this off, and I'm gonna get the uh, stamina potion for Fludge again. Hopefully that should be the last of it. To tell you the truth, I don't think Petro said how many more gratitude crystals to get back to him. Or I didn't even, uh, I didn't check with him. I should have done that. Oh, well. So supposedly, supposedly, I don't know, there are potential rumors of a possible, I think I mentioned this on, la on the Smash Brothers stream, actually. Um, there are rumors of a potential Nintendo Direct happening within the next couple weeks. I could definitely see that, um, especially, that's right, I came to see just you. <laughs> I think I'm gonna keel over. Wow, Patrice really likes me. Sounds bad. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, I had to try it. I'm sorry, Patrice. Back to work. If you wanted me to take care of you forever. Uh... Yeah, maybe not that. Yes, uh, let's check some items, though. Okay, so, did, is she just like me more now? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> okay. Get this stupid metal out of here. Um, is there anything else I want to take while I'm here, though? I'm trying to think. For the Le Neighbor area. The Le Neighbor area had, like, the... The electrocuted, uh... Enemies there, so I don't even think I want this, the reinforced shield, to be honest. I think I might take the band shield still. It could happen this week on the 8th. The 8th is what? Wednesday? Yeah, Wednesday. It could. Um, we'll see. I, I think it's a Sony event, too, so a lot of people are wondering, like, if that's even gonna be, um... You know, that might be too much. I might as well put the other bottle there. Why do I not have the other bottle there? Actually, what does the heart metal do? No, no, think about it. Hmm. I'll do the other bottle. Might as well. And I'm close to being able to buy that, that last pouch so I can get one more spot. Oh, now she likes me. Okay. Now it's a thing. Good to know. Um, yeah, it's potion, potion, potion. Which, uh... Is it the blue one, then? Is the blue one the stamina? Oh. No, okay. Oxygen. I guess it is the green one. I, for some reason, I was thinking the green one was a different one, but... Hey, listen. I'm sorry, but I'm here for just for the stamina. There we go. But yeah, Nintendo Direct, like, I... I think it's gonna happen this month. You know, Nintendo, in the past, like, almost always... Not last year, they had, like, a... One of those partner showcases last year, because, you know, their whole Nintendo Direct schedule was completely thrown off, obviously, because of COVID. Um, but now that they've been kind of back on track with Directs, you know, we had the one in... February, and then we had the E3 one... They've all, every year that they've had the, like, the usual, typical Nintendo Direct schedule, they've almost always had one in September, and I think it's gonna, I feel like it's gonna happen again. It just, it makes sense. Um, however, some people aren't thinking the 8th because of, I know some people are saying it, but all, other people are saying it's not gonna happen because the Sony event's also this week, and then also, like, WarriorWare is coming out on, is it Tuesday or Friday, one of those days, that Nintendo likes to always have a release for games on. But, um, I'm just gonna go back to sleep right now, honestly. I don't, I don't know if there's anything else I could do. Um, what was I gonna say? But, uh, yeah, so I don't know if that means... I don't know if either of those things could possibly mean that we're not gonna see a Direct this week. I, I don't know if it's gonna be this week, but at least, like, next week or the week after, I, I feel like we'll see it. But it, it'd be cool to see. Um, some people are trying to get their hopes up and saying more tw uh, Wind Waker and Twilight Princess, bring those over, and I'm like... I mean, they kind of did say they did all the Zelda stuff uh, for the anniversary, but then again, we never know. Um, Nintendo's lied to us before, but um, it's been the the rumors of the Game Boy and Game Boy Color, uh, g some of those games coming to the Nintendo Switch Online, which would be cool. I would love to see that, you know, get... Um, I, I doubt they would do Pokemon, like the mainline Pokemon games, because those games just hold too much value. Um, so they probably wouldn't want to do that. If anything, they'd sell it again and charge for it. Um, maybe some of the spin-off games, but like Metroid 2, the Kirby's Dream Land games, Super Mario Land 1 and 2, all those would be really cool to see. Um, here's Fledger's Room. There's a, there's a lot of good... Link's Awakening, there's a lot of good games they could do. Seven. Wow, wow, that's a lot. There you go. You know, Fledge, you said you didn't want it, but I, nah, I'm gonna give you that potion now. Look at him chug it. Oh, he's chugging it. Look at those muscles. Those muscles just grew. Good job, Fledge. How many push-ups do you think I need to get strong? It's not about numbers, my friend. There you go. Now he's getting it. It's not about it's not about the number of reps necessarily. I'll check on you later, Fudge. I wonder if I probably have to go back to him at night again. That'd probably be my guess. But um, is there anything else I can do? Let me just double check really quick to see if there's anything around. Oh, I can't go out this door. Never mind. Um, anything around Skyloth that I need to do? 
right now before I, uh, I'm going to head off to the Lumpy Pumpkin in a bit to see, sleep over there and then talk to the dude at night and see what I can do there. Oh, another gratitude crystal. They're indoors, really? Interesting. Okay. I almost didn't see that. It kind of blended in with the pot there. But yeah, Nintendo Direct this week, it's possible. You never know. But I feel like it might be a little too early this week. I'd love to see it, but we'll have to see. Um, hopefully they don't do another Metroid Dread trailer. If they do, I won't. They've been spoiling that game so much. Um, even just, They spoiled like such a big reveal in that second trailer. And I'm not going to say it here, obviously, for spoiler reasons. But like, it was really cool. It would have been cool to keep us a surprise. But like at the same time... It's, it's cool to see. I don't know. So I'm not too worried about it. I know a lot of big Metroid fans are like, why did you spoil that? It's one of the cool reveals. And it's like, you know, whatever. You only need two gratitude crystals and you have no idea where they are. This week or next week at the latest. Yeah, no, I feel like... But maybe even the... Maybe in two weeks. They could do the week after. But maybe that would be the latest. If we don't see it then. If we don't see it like mid to late September, then... Unless they do the very tail end of September, which I guess they could do, then I don't know if we're gonna... I don't know. We'll have to see. But... It'll be interesting. I don't know. If we get into, like, October and there's still no no Direct has happened, or no new Direct has happened, then I don't know I don't know what to think at that point. Get him a net! Oh, come on. There we go. I thought I was gonna miss him. There we go. Yeah, in terms of the Gratitude Crystal, you only have two left. That's uh, unfortunate. I'm trying to think of where I found any of mine maybe i got ones that you missed there was one in that uh in that plant pot at a uh, at night in the top of uh the top floor of the dormitory so i don't know maybe check there i mean I'm, I'm guessing you probably already did get that but let me see um i could keep looking around a little bit i guess just to see let me save first though and then i'm gonna head off to the lumpy pumpkin and see what uh what I can do with uh, that side quest and hopefully uh, get some more of my debt paid off to the dude over there. There's a lot of choo-choos over here, huh? Really just choo-choos and geese? Uh, um, and not geese. <laughs> choo-choos and geese. Yes, they're flying. I mean, geese are vicious, but like those are not geese. Those are keese. A lot of keese out here. Like, it, kind of like what I was going back to what I was saying before. Like, I want to know... Like, the origin of some of those names, if they didn't, uh... Ah, if they didn't, uh... Talk about it in any other Zelda book, I might have missed that. But, like, for example, Keese? Why are they called Keese? I mean, they're just bats, you know? So it's kind of interesting, I don't know. I did find out who's in the... Who's in the bath at night? Are you talking about... Are you talking about the bathroom in the dormitory? I think I thought that was the ghost girl. Is there someone else too in there? Now I'm curious. I mean, I don't really know if I want to know who's in the bath at night, to be honest. Actually, if I can dive under there, I wonder if there's any uh, other stuff I can do there. I'm guessing there's really nothing else I can do now. I still gotta figure out with this bird statue here. I think I'm supposed to put in like a a gem or something right there. Cause you can see there's a gem there. Oh, and it has the uh the symbol on it. I can't skyward strike it from here, I doubt it. I don't think I'd be able to reach it from here. But there's supposed to be like another it almost looks like a gem or something that's supposed to go in there. Why is there a patch of vines right there? That's so random. Um Yeah, I don't know. Oh, am I supposed to like yeah, that looks very suspicious. That platform over there, the little indent. I'm going to go check that out. Because I think there's something I'm supposed to do with that statue. Oh, the bath on the top floor at the academy. Oh, the top floor, right? The ghost girl was in the bottom floor. Hold up. Did I never... Uh... Maybe I never checked that out. Maybe I should uh, look into that. I don't think I ever checked that out, actually, to be honest. Okay, yeah, let me... Is it this platform over here? Yeah, it's that one, okay. I kind of want to just see if, like, I go over here. Right, because there's this little indent here. It just seems very suspicious that it's, like... 
Oh, no, not that. Um, just the way it's kind of positioned, you know, it just looks very suspicious. That statue has to be for something. I'm not gonna be able to skyward strike the thing from here, though. It's probably like a... Maybe an arrow shot I have to do? I don't know. But probably nothing I can do now. Um, I guess I'll check over here. Why not for any uh, gratitude crystals? Not expecting anything, but I don't even remember what was over here. Because this wasn't the... Uh, this wasn't the waterfall area. I already saw that over there. I'm not sure. Yeah, you know, before I... Uh, I, I am going to have to go back to the academy to sleep and then for the daytime and then fly over to Lumpy Pumpkin so I can get that side quest. While I'm there, I'll check the bathroom on the top floor. I don't think I ever did that, to be honest. Maybe I did and just completely forgot what happened. I don't know. Ah! Go away, Jelly. Okay. This is some scary platforming. I imagine it must be terrifying just having like a bunch of like floating platforms. Like these islands, just like, just kind of living here, you know? Like, is there, do they ever fear of like, do the, the residents of Skyloft ever, uh, ever have a fear of like, for whatever reason, one day the island's just like falling down onto the surface? Are they, they're just fine. They don't worry about that. Oh, that goes into the back of the, uh, oh, you know, I'm pretty sure I had to go that way to like sneak into that area earlier or something. Like near the, near the beginning of the game, but I could be wrong. I don't think there's anything else I can do, to be honest. I'm not seeing any of the gratitude crystals either. Wait, what is that over there, actually? No, okay. Just a, a doorway or something. Just the lighting kind of threw me off. I was like, is that something over there? But I don't think so. Okay. Yeah, let me uh, let me check out the bathroom first, actually. Or the bath, sorry, on the top floor. I want to see. Maybe there's something in there. Right, so you're saying, okay, this area. So there's someone in here. I mean, it is locked, so... Hmm. I guess that's something I gotta get to eventually. Yeah, wasn't Corrine actually complaining about, like, someone being in the bath for so long? Or something. Oh, she's here. Maybe she'll complain to me about it. What are you doing in a girl's room at this time of night? Yeah, if whoever was in there now would hurry up and get out. They've been there long. Right, exactly. No idea how I'm gonna be able to do that, though. Probably some other side quests I have to do at some point. Um, for now, I'm gonna go... Actually, you know what I could do quickly? I, I could test out my theory before. If, if I just sleep at night again, because I think I need to, like, wait for, um, for Fledge to, you know, wait a day or so. And then he'll, like, be like, hey, thanks for all the push-ups or whatever. Um, so let me do that quickly. And now we'll see. I can hear him across the room. He's still doing his push-ups. Maybe I have to talk to him during the day, though. I'm not sure. No? Okay, maybe it's not. Well, then again, it was a gray bubble, so maybe not. Come back and see me soon. When is soon, Fledge? Because that's what he told me previously, and then I don't know what triggered the, uh, the next, like, part of the side quest to actually happen, but... Okay, never mind. I will sleep until the day. And, uh... Maybe I have to talk to him in the morning, and then that triggers whatever it is at night. I'm not sure. Side quests in this game are very interesting, that's for sure. I'm really hoping, though, even with streaming, you know, Donkey Kong Country on and off with this game, that shouldn't last too long. I'm guessing maybe, like, three parts max. Like, like unless... <laughs> I say that now, but those minecart stages are going to be tough. Um... So we'll see, but I'm hoping, I, I would love to be able to wrap this game up before um, Metroid Dread comes out in literally almost just a, about a month. Like, it's, I can't believe it's already that um, that close to releasing it. <laughs> that's going to be, well, I, I shouldn't say for sure because I haven't played it yet, but that's probably going to be my game of the year, if I had to guess. This is probably going to be my second favorite game, because I've been enjoying Skyward Sword a lot. Um, I honestly didn't play a ton of games like that came out this year trying to think the only ones i played this game monster hunter rise and i think that's it i mean i don't i don't, I don't know if i count like pac-man 99 or any of those games i played like what two hours of that not even glad i could help you fledge 
Yeah, okay, so I gotta visit him at night again. Um, I don't want to do that now, though. I'll do the night thing again later. So I am going to... I'm just gonna head over to the Lumpy Pumpkin for now, and then sleep over there, and then do the next part of that side quest, and get that done and over with. And then... Yeah, because I'm about an hour in, then maybe I should have some time for a... Oh yeah, I gotta run. I I, I kind of hate that I gotta run up the ledge. Yet. I always forget that. Um, and then I could probably set aside a good amount of time to explore the little neighbor area. Maybe even do the second trial, depending on uh, how long it takes to get to. But let me. Oh, I already got a little marker set up. Good. Oh, you just got them all. Nice. Now, did you find them all yourself, or did you have to use a guide to look them up? I won't. I will not judge you if you use a guide because I would totally do that same thing as well. Yeah, now you gotta get all the goddess cubes. To be honest, I feel like the goddess cube seems a little more manageable than the, uh... The gratitude crystals, because they're a lot bigger, they're easier to see for the most part. Some of them I feel like are probably hidden away, though. But, um... I feel like those might be slightly easier. Then again, I'm, I'm not sure. But I would totally have to use a guide for those. There's no way, I mean... Unless, like, I wanted to spend, like, hours upon hours in this game searching specifically for all that, which I really don't want to, um, I would totally use a guide for that myself, personally, because I would just not have the patience for that. You used, oh, you used the dowsing, right, I forgot you mentioned the dowsing ability, so yeah, okay, that's good, that's awesome. Give yourself a pat on the back for that slosh kill, that's, uh, that's an accomplishment right there. <laughs> probably not as good as, uh, probably not as much as, uh, going after all the Korok seeds <laughs> in Breath of the Wild, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. You looked up guides for a few small things. I mean, I had to do that early on for something in this game. Like, one of the dungeons, I had to look up just a quick guide. Sometimes you just need that little push, and then you can kind of get going from there. You got the interesting-looking instrument, the harp, right. Only be done at night. I'm gonna have to put him to sleep. I've got a good job for you. <laughs> I have insomnia, I can't sleep. Play me a song. <laughs> okay, so let me see. There's gotta be a bed around here, right? I would imagine. Do I have to talk to him to stay overnight or something? Or... This has got to be the way to stay overnight. Let me see what he's... I want to stay overnight. Poom. Pum. Technically, I think it's pump Because, uh, pumpkin. You know, the whole pumpkin pun. Oh, is it here? Oh, is this it? Okay, this is it. There we go. They even got themed beds. That's, uh... That's dedication right there. Look at those themed beds. It's kind of Halloween themed, though. Is it always Halloween at, uh, the Lumpy Pumpkin? To be honest, I've never been huge on Halloween. Like, I know some people are just obsessed with Halloween. Like, I... It's, it's, it's a kind of a fun time. I'm not gonna lie. But it's also, like... I don't know. I was always in it for the candy when I was younger. Now that I'm older, I mean, I still love candy. Don't get me wrong. But it's like... I can just buy candy at the grocery store. You know? Definitely a, a fun thing when I was younger, for sure. But I understand why people like it. Just the season of it and all, you know. Get into the the, cre the spoopy mood. That strange-looking instrument you have there. Oh! Wait, oh, we're, we're gonna put him to sleep. Or are we gonna have a concert? Are we gonna have, like, a nighttime outdoor concert for everybody at the Lumpy Pumpkin? That'd be cool. Oh, okay, yeah, she'd sing for the customers. But she had to stop because her partner quit. Sure, let's do it. It'd be fun. Make sure you put your heart into it. <laughs> I'll try my best, Pum. Start waving their arms. Okay, so they wave their arms, so you just need to follow them if you need a guide to the rhythm. Right, okay. Pick a customer whose movements are easier for you to follow. Oh, so each one has different movements? Don't worry about the direction you're strumming. Just make sure you're not right. Just the speed. Big sweeping motions. When they stop, it's your... Oh, we got get to freestyle? Let's go. Okay, I'm down. We're good. <laughs> this should be funny. Let's do it, kid. Why did you call me kid? She's totally younger than me. funny. Are they the only two customers that ever show up? 
Oh. They go faster at some points. I gotta watch out for that when they go faster. Got a freestyle. I feel like I'm doing an okay job. This guitar here would probably like have like two stars. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing okay. I don't know how they measure it though. They're totally the only two customers, this kid and a... I think I did okay. Did I? I don't know. I think I didn't do that on purpose on the end, I think. That might have just been, uh... That might have just been the game doing it. Just a little, little nice ending piece there, that little ending chord. That was good. This was the... Oh, this was the one you couldn't do? But you did it. Nice. Oh, okay. It was this one. Okay. I mean, it's tough, because what's tough is when they, like, go, like, like, you don't see it coming. The really fast part where they go back and forth a lot faster. Like, you don't even see that coming, so you gotta be careful about that. I, uh, that almost threw me off. I wonder how they, how they measure the accuracy, though, you know? Oh, that's it. I don't have to worry. My debt is paid off. Let's go. I'm gonna buy a new chandelier. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna knock your chandelier down. Oh, okay. Well, it was worth it. I got two pieces. By damaging the chandelier, I get two pieces of heart out of it. Slosh Glow, I think I just got lucky because that just like threw me off like when they went faster. I don't know how they measure it. Um, thank you, though. I don't know how they measure the accuracy, to be honest. Maybe you can swing by later. Yep, just as a customer. Well, you know what? If you're going to put up a new chandelier and it's going to have another piece of heart on it, I'm knocking it down. <laughs> I will knock down any chandelier you put up. There is no escape from my wrath. It's not gonna let me leave, is it? Because it's nighttime. I'm gonna guess not. Actually, I wonder if there's anything around. Ooh, fireflies. I was gonna say, I wonder if there's anything around. Uh, I don't. I don't think I've. I haven't been here at night before. I don't think. Get in my net. Yeah. Net. Yeah. I don't know how I got that swing. That was lucky. Oh, nice gratitude crystal. Good thing I checked. It's always good to check everything in Zelda games, because you never know when something's going to show up, you know? Oh, there's a little bug. Okay. You cannot escape me. Get over here. <laughs> I thought I stepped on it for a second. Oh, no. Oh, we're good, I think, though. Slash Cole, I want to get your opinion. Does, the, does my mic sound okay? Like... I know it's not the best quality mic, and I have, like, a noise suppression filter on it. Um, if it doesn't sound okay, let me know, because I've been considering, like, upgrading the mic to, like, a, a better microphone. Because the one I have, I mean, it's, like, a USB mic, um, which I think, I mean, I think most are. But, like, I've been considering upgrading just because, I don't know, it'd be nice to have, like, a slightly better quality mic. But if it sounds fine, then maybe not worth upgrading. I don't know. Or any, anybody watching, for that matter, whether it's the bot or live, like, let me know what, what your opinions are on the, uh, on the microphone audio quality, for me, at least. Because I know there's sometimes with the, the filter isn't perfect, so, like, sometimes it cuts out specific audio when I'm talking. I mean, especially if it gets too loud, but, like, I don't think I'm usually too loud. <laughs> I got a little loud on that, uh, no, hold on. <laughs> Never sleep. Um, there we go. I got a little loud on the, uh, the Smash Brothers stream. It sounds fine to you? Okay. Okay. Because, like, I've been considering getting a new mic, but, you know, if I really don't need it, then maybe I don't need to wor worry about it. The only thing I was worry worried about was, like, background noise. So, for example, like, the new apartment that I'm in, the washer and dryer units are literally, like, right next to my bedroom door, and, like, those can get a little loud. So, I don't know if you, you heard that earlier. Like, my roommate was doing laundry, so I'm not sure if the mic... It shouldn't pick up on it because of the noise suppression filter, but, like, just in case... Um, I don't know, maybe having a different mic would get around that issue, but... Um, if it's not necessary, then I'm not gonna bother, but... Okay, you know what, let me... What am I at? 759. Now, you know what, I think I'm gonna head to the neighbor now. I think I'm gonna say that's good for now. 
I want to get an even long... I almost did the Bamboo Island, but I think if I get more Sacred Flames, I should be able to make the sword even longer. Because that last one I got in the, uh, the Ancient Cistern made it longer. So then I might have a better shot of doing that and getting the piece of heart there. Um, I think I'm just going to head to Lanayru for now, though. I think I'm pretty much done with all the other side quests I want to do for now. Let's go! <laughs> Aim for the bushes. There we go. Off we go on the majestic bird. It's like Clifford the Big Red Dog, but it's just it's a bird instead. I'd say more fun. I'd want a pet bird, honestly. Not like a parakeet or like a parrot or anything like that. Like, you know, the typical ones. Or like a falcon or a hawk. Not that it's legal, but I'm not sure like a falcon tamer or something. But like, come on, that'd be so cool. <laughs> I am considering getting a pet soon. Um, still debating between a cat. I've talked about this before. Uh, debating between a cat and a dog still. The cats, I mean, they, they charge you extra money for uh, monthly rent no matter what pet kind of pet you get, whether it's a cat or a dog, but, like, the cat would be easier to take care of, and also, like, while I'm working, it might be easier, but I'm also, I'm working remotely full-time until at least February, so I've got time, so I could always watch a dog if I had one, but, and I kind of grew up being a dog person, so, like, I feel like I'd rather get a dog, but I don't know. I'm not completely, um... I'd, cons I'd consider getting a cat. Not just because it's easier, but cats are cool. I don't know. Alright, I'm interested to see... I'm trying to remember. I don't remember any blocked off areas in the Lanebru Desert. That I didn't see last time. So I wonder... I'm just going to start at the entrance. Right, the mine entrance. And I'm just going to see from there where it's going to take me. Um... Because I need to find the second trial somewhere. But it is interesting how... Um... Okay, Fire's got something for me. You're da oh, right, the dowsing ability. Right, okay, let me do this at the uh, the Pharaon Woods last time. Okay, at least we got that. Let me save here quickly, but... It's interesting how they bring you back to Lanayru before going back to Elden, so... That's interesting. I don't know. Changing it up a little bit. I really hope it doesn't make me do... Or, sorry. I'm really hoping it doesn't make me go into the Lanayru Mining Facility again. Um, but knowing <laughs> knowing the progression of this game, it will. Because it did make me go into the Skyview Temple again last time. And I'm not going to lie, that was a little annoying. Um, I hear some cicadas. Are you in there? No? Okay. Oh, you're on the... Oh, there you are. I was like, where the heck is the cicada? Got him, coach. There we go. Ah! Big choo-choo. There we go. These guys are annoying just because they'll, like, actually... The big ones will form back up together. Uh, so those guys are a little bit annoying, but okay, looks like I'm good there. I still gotta figure out what... Maybe you do get the hookshot in this game. Because I can't use the whip on that, right? Whip is so cool, by the way. I hope I find more uses for it. Um, there's gotta be some kind of hookshot equivalent. I, I was wondering if the whip was gonna let me do that, but I guess not. Oh, what am I doing? I should douse. Ah! Okay. So it looks like... Yeah, it's a ways away. Okay. I guess I could have spawned farther in. I just wasn't sure if, like... Oh, what's over there, actually? I wonder if I can get there. That might be somewhere I have to go later. I'm not sure. Exploration time! Okay. Oh, I'm gonna have to do that whole minecart section again, aren't I? Oh, not what I wanted to do. There we go. I kind of got a pattern down. Yeah, okay, hold on a second. Let me go. I have to open that door up again. But in order to do that... I, I love just how colorful it gets. You know, when you use a time zone? Or a time shift zone like that? I just, I love how colorful it gets there. Mm -hmm. 
In you go. Let's go. I didn't have to open the door or anything, right? I could just kind of go in. Yeah, okay. I couldn't remember. It's been, it's been a little bit since I've been here. Honestly, not too long, but like, it's been a little while. I already did this section. Oh, these guys again. Can I whip them? Da 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 da! da oh no. Da da da! Da 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 da! Oh no, okay. Can't whip them, okay. It's okay, I'll just throw a bomb. Or not. There we go. Get out of here. You little weird frog dudes, get out of there. I don't even know what they're supposed to be. I don't know if I remember seeing any Zelda enemy previously that looked like that, so I'm guessing it's just some kind of brand new type of enemy here. Okay. Uh, I'm not risking getting that heart because I don't want to die in that quicksand. <laughs> Knowing me, I will find a way to drown in that quicksand. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Okay, so it was over here? Oh, wait. Oh, okay. So what I'm going to have to do... In order to get over there, I'm going to need whatever that hookshot ability is. Because that's where this is. And that... Okay, so I guess I can't get over there yet. Because I couldn't... It wasn't letting me use the whip on it, I don't think. Um, so, okay. Never mind, don't need to go that way. Proceed. Okay. I think I remember what I'm supposed to do. I honestly, I could have, like, gone back out of Lanevu and then back in and spawned, like, uh... Or chosen one of the bird statues that are, like, a little, uh... Oh, no, that's not gonna end well. Hold up. I don't know if I'm gonna make this. Might as well try! No, I'm right there! I'm right there! Oh, how did I make that? Hey, let me, let me catch my breath. There you go. Down he goes. <laughs> that was funny. I don't know how I made it, to be honest. I should not have made that. Uh, okay. One of these is a time shift zone. I'm just going to put this here. Don't mind me. Ah! Electric piece. What? Since one of the keys electric. Okay. Oh, there's a time shift zone over there. But do I need... Yeah, I do need that because i got to get into that area. This guy is in a time shift zone, is it? No, okay. I guess maybe it is that guy over there. Goodbye, my friend. Can I make it over there? I might have, like, rolled the bomb over there. I'm trying to remember. But I don't think it... Uh, maybe... It, oh, it does make it that far, does it? Wait. It does. Okay, I couldn't remember who's going to make that. I could have used the slingshot, too, I think. I think I would have made it. And now, okay, that gives me access to there. There wasn't anything over there I needed to do, right? I've pretty much been to that area. Oh, wait, hold up. One of these weird materials. Okay, whoa. Excuse me. Excuse me, Deku Baba. I don't think so. I gotta be like, I gotta be more precise. I swear I'm trying to be as precise as I can with some of these. Um. Like, you know, vertical, like, yeah, doing exact, like, vertical or horizontal slashes with the sword. I swear I'm not, like, not, uh, completely exact enough for this game. This game requires perfection. Okay, I gotta push this guy in. That's fine. I was gonna say, I'm so close to being able to afford that other pouch. I should have, like, farmed a few rupees and then just bought the pouch while I was there. But, I mean, I guess I really don't need it right now. I think I should be okay. Let me see, this should lead to the desert area, right? Yep, there we go. Cool. Okay. So I'm guessing somewhere in this area, I'm probably going to find the entrance to the next, uh, or the, sorry, the next trial area. This is what I should be able to find. Let me see, though. Let me see. Oh, okay. Wow, it's all the way over there, huh? Oh, I wonder, is it in, like, this area, maybe? 
Maybe that's where I need to head. Oh, but there's an X right there. So is it kind of telling me I just need to go over to the X, maybe? Back where the uh, that generator was to unlock the the way to the linear mining facility. Oh, tumbleweed. I should probably catch this while I'm here. Get over here. Ah. Uh... No, no. Oh, thank you. You can stay there. You don't need to attack me. Um, okay. You gotta figure out the best way over there. No! Oh, you, I was about to get the tumbleweed. You just ran right into it. Okay, thank you, buddy. Thank you. Was I able to explore over here before? I swear this area... Oh, you know what? It's because, um... Right, once I actually was able to activate the generators and get the Linnea Mining Facility open up, I could actually, uh... To do this, right? I forgot I could even, uh... Get over here. That makes getting over here a lot faster than, uh... Going the long way around like before. I think it's literally just trying to get me over here. Is this, is this where the trial is? Maybe... Uh oh, that bird's coming after me. I don't like that. Can I send the beetle after it? Oh, this beetle does... Is it faster? Oh, I can speed it up. Oh, wow. I can't really speed that up, huh? That's so cool. Now that I've fully upgraded... I think fully upgraded. It looks fully powered up. Um, honestly, I'm just going to let him just chill. Do his thing. Oh, there it is. I see it. Right over there. Solid, okay. I'm just gonna double check. Does this whip really not work up here? So I figured it would have been... I, I thought it would have been the whip at first, but I guess not. It's gotta be... It, it's gotta be some kind of hookshot equivalent. Okay, here we go. Get out the harp! Oh, nope. Nope. Ah, <laughs> oh, right, it's a tumbleweed showed up too. Oh, that didn't take much at all. Just one little pluck. There we go. Okay. Made it to the second trial. Oh, I gotta time it. Hold up. There we go. I still find it kind of terrifying how Fi has a pretty static mouth while she sings. I don't know. It kind of it kind of creeps me out. Then again, the goddess statue did a similar thing in the the Isle of Songs. That was a little scary. But I remember, Slosh Cole, you were saying some of the later trials get difficult, so <laughs> we'll see how this goes. This might not go so hot, we'll have to see. I didn't have too much trouble in the first one, then again, it was the first trial. Um, but I just remember I had like a... There was one moment where like, I accidentally ran into one of those flying ghost guys with the, 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 the lanterns, and I ran into that, and then they were all chasing after me. So that was kind of scary. Thrust your sword and mark the uh, yeah into the center. Open up the way to the silent realm. It's time for the second trial. Here we go. Oh, a tumbleweed every time. Da. That's got to be a call. That's got to be a reference to Ocarina of Time. Just the way he doesn't. That again. I mean, I guess Link's done that with the Master Sword and like a bunch of other games too. So maybe not. I guess we kind of might have said that Link to the past. Yeah, I'll try my best, Sloshical. This is going to be, uh... Interesting, to say the least. I mean, it's not the last trial, so maybe it won't be too bad, but, like... I think I remember when I, when I was doing the first one, you might have been doing this one, or the next one, I'm not sure. Yeah, it's going to be tough, I'm sure. <laughs> I'll try my best. If I lose, I, I, I'm probably going to not be able to make it, but we'll see. At least I know how they work, generally, now. My mind alone, right. I am alone in this place. This is Nehru's Silent Realm. Test your wisdom. Right, the flame that will hands your sword. It's Sonic and the Secret Rings all over again. <laughs> That's ripped straight out of Twilight Princess, too. The spirit vessel. It, was, it looks just like the Tears of Light thing from Twilight Princess. Right, so I gotta get all of those, uh... Uh... I don't think so. Oh, the weight you return in the outside world. I'm pretty sure I remember how this works. So I need to get all of those, like, light orbs. 
they're not on the map, so I can't use the map at all. Um, there are... 14 total, it looks like? Oh, wait, no, no, no. It looks like 15. Because 8 on this side, but 7 of it. It looks like 15. Um, and every time I get one of them, it, like, replenishes something. Yeah, okay, so now I immediately step out of here. Right, and these guardians go crazy and come after me. So I need to plan this out a bit. I don't know if I'm going to make that guy right there. I don't know if I'd make that. So I'm wondering... I might make that guy. That music's terrifying. But that guy's right there. Wait, oh, wait, but there's that thing right there. Okay, there's a little power-up. I'm, go I'm going after that one. What? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, can you only get that when uh, they're not chasing after you? Okay, interesting. So I need to... I could just go for that front one right there and just risk it all. Might have to do it. If I can get past this guard right here, let's go for it. There we go. <laughs> Somehow got to that tier of Nehru. Right, it halts the movement of guardians for 90 seconds. Right. And these orbs do something else. I forget what those guys do, but they do something special. Get you. They might just kind of like get those uh, soldiers off your trail for a bit. I'm not sure. I'm trying to remember exactly, but. Okay, let me just get these around here. Is there an easy way for me to get up to that platform, actually? How do I get over there? What the heck? I guess I'm gonna go this way and check out this area first. I'm pretty sure in the Faron Woods area. Oh no, I oh no, I was gonna say when I hit the water. Rats. Wait, so how am I? Well, this is gonna be fun. Nah, it's okay, you don't have to come get me. It's okay. You don't have to come near me, it's okay. It's okay, you just you just guys just chill over there. Let me grab this dude and I'll be fun. So now the question is, how do I get that one? Because I touched the water. Oh, I touched the water, now it's gone, okay. Am I supposed to purposefully- Oh, no, 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 oh, no, I don't like that. What the heck? Hold up, is there any other way I can get that? Without having to, uh, touch the water? Because that seems kind of scary. I am not gonna lie. Um, I'm gonna save that for the end, honestly. Okay, now. Where's this guy? There's no water here. So I can just push this guy up here and grab this one. Um, this guy over here. How do I get up there? Oh, can I just, I can probably just climb up here, huh? Maybe. What? How the hell do I get up there? Rats. Oh, there we go. Holy crap, and there's one all the way over there? Jeez, okay. This is a little terrifying. But what do these guys do again? What the heck? Wait, 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 wait. Excuse me. Excuse me. How can they see me within that radius? That makes no sense. That does actually doesn't make any sense. No. No, no. No, no. Go away. Okay, this is kind of stupid. I'm not gonna lie. No. Get out of here. You stupid pose. Okay. Yeah, this one's not fun. They're all spread out. Where's the nearest? Oh, it's right here. We're good. We're good. How am I supposed to make it past those guys? That's a little ridiculous. I'm not gonna lie. There's one up there, too. Jeez. Just the radius on these guys is crazy. No! Oh my god, okay. I was really hoping I could climb the platform. Well, gotta get out of here. I can get up to that guy, though. Let me try to get this guy over here. Jump down! Run, Link! I gotta refill my stamina, though. 
Oh, there's a guy right there. He's super close. Can I get it? How do I get it? How do I get it? Can I whip it down? Ah! Can I not use items? How am I supposed to grab that guy? How am I actually supposed to grab that dude up there? Oh, no. Where did you come from? Holy crap. Oh, I gotta roll into the tree. No, I tried to roll. <laughs> They're coming for me. Roll. No. I think it's what I have to do. I think I'm supposed to roll in there. I'm going to draw them out a bit. They're kind of terrifying. I don't like how they're just coming out of the little ground right there. I think I might be trapped where I am. Uh-oh, this guy there. I got to run for it. Got to run around them. No. Run, Link. Because I think I need to roll into that tree to knock it down. Get it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. That was a little scary. I'm not going to lie. Okay, I've got five left. There's the one stupid one over by the water. Which I don't think I can get yet. Well, I could, but it's not going to end well for me. Um, if I land in that quicksand, is it going to trigger it? No. Okay, good. I might go back to that other area just to kind of uh, plan out where I'm going to next. Because I don't know where the other... F I know where... Uh, I know where a few of them are, but not all of them. Am I th oh, okay, here we go. I'll grab this one while I'm here. It gives me a little time. Oh, but these stupid pose over here. How am I supposed to get over to that one, actually? Oh, looks from, from over there, it looks like? Okay. I see. I just don't like that one specifically right there because of that water, that pool of water that keeps going in and out. What is this supposed to do? Does it extend the timer? Okay, what the hell? What am I supposed to do here? That doesn't give me a lot of time, does it? How far away does he go? Okay. Okay, I just gotta wait for this guy. Hopefully he's not gonna catch me here, right? Okay, that's good. But now the question is, I gotta, like, time it perfectly? Right, okay, so now I don't want to get too close to this guy. Run! No! Okay. I'm just gonna grab this guy, and then get out of here. Oh, no, 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 no. Please don't tell me I'm gonna die here. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Yeah, okay, we're good. Okay. There's three more. I know where one of them is. There's one over there. Uh, actually, hold up. Do I... No, okay, I was gonna say if there's a way to, um... Okay. Cool, cool, cool. I want to make sure it's an actual path. So where is the other one? Because there's one there. Oh, the final one's on top? What the heck? How do I get up there? Okay, the final one's on top of there. I have no idea how to get up to the top of that tower, but that's what I need to get. And then that final one over by the pool of water. I'm close. The question is, how the hell do I get up there? Oh, okay, cool. Can I climb this? I didn't realize these were vines. Awesome. Okay. Well, there must be another patch of vines over here, too, right? And then it's that stupid pool of water one, which I need to, like, time right and push the cart out of the way. And then I can, uh, get that final one. That's a little scary. He's right there. He's just waiting for me. There we go. Okay. It's up, all up to that final one now. That stupid pool of water. Okay, so if I wait, will it go away? Yes. Okay. Go! Come on, like. Go, like, go! No, go, like. Up, up, up! Come on, no, no, climb up, please! Okay, there we go. Yeah! Whew. Okay. So now I just need to get to the back. Okay, I need to get back to the start. Am I still on a timer too? Okay, I think I am. That's fine. I should be okay. That one was a little stressful. It's not over yet though. Hold up. Unless... Oh wait. Is the timer not going out anymore? Maybe that's it. Okay. Maybe the timer just doesn't go out anymore. 
That's nice if it doesn't. Okay, cool. I don't know how I will. I guess, you know, I'm not going to jinx it yet. I'm not going to jinx it yet. Gotta wait. Gotta wait till I actually get back to the entrance. <laughs> not going to jinx it. Okay, there we go. Okay, that one was a little scary. They were definitely, they were way more spread out. So it was a little, uh, it was a little terrifying. Oh, what the heck is that? Oh, what? Oh, the claw shots. Okay, so we're, we're, uh, we're following the Twilight Princess logic here. Okay, so it's not, it's essentially the, uh, the hook shot, but is it, oh, so is it dual claw shots? Do we just straight up get dual claw shots from the start? That's awesome. I loved that in uh, Twilight Princess with the, uh, was it the the city in the sky? Was that the, what the dungeon was called? With the, the Ukus or whatever they were? And then there was the final uh, Argrok boss. That was, it was scary, but it was, uh, that was fun. That was, that was a fun boss. But the, when you got the, the, the double claw shot. So I think it looks like we get two right off the bat. That's awesome. And vines. Okay. Cool. Okay. So that's awesome. I like how they look. They're very like ancient looking. That's cool. So I wonder if that other question mark over where I was supposed to use the claw shot, that's probably where the entrance to the next dungeon is, right? If I had to guess. Congratulations. Thank you, Fai. And to the, yeah, to the sacred flame that you will be entrusted to your sword and your strong spirit. One of the goddesses' sacred gifts. Okay. The one thing I gotta remember is that. Oh, I'm sure the last one, which is probably an Elden, right? I'm sure that was gonna be like ridiculously stressful and like a little nerve wracking. Um, yeah, I'm sure it's not gonna end too well, but we'll see. Maybe I, I might, uh, I might lose on that one. We'll have to see. What actually happens if you lose? Like if you get caught by the one of those guardians? Like, does, is this, do you have to just restart the trial, or do you like? get a game over i want i want to know how it works do you lose anything is there any repercussions besides losing your progress or you can extend these claws right okay so i can use those target shots now that's awesome it lies in a place i've not yet visited so the thing is is there's a couple areas that i think i can use the claw shots for oh this is sick oh yeah that's so cool i love being able to like actually aim the claw shots with the motion controls that is awesome um I think, I think Twilight Princess let you, Wind Waker HD definitely had like the motion controls with the gamepad. I remember using, not the, uh, cause they didn't have the hook shot. It was right. It was kind of the, the rope. It was kind of like the claw shot, but with like a just simple rope. So it was different. Um, but I'm pretty sure Twi Twilight Princess let you do that as well. Oh, there's another area over here too. There's a lot of areas I could explore. I guess the question is which one's the right one? Because what the heck's over there? Oh, that's, um... I know what that is. Okay. That was one of the areas I was thinking maybe I could explore now with the claw shot. Um... Yeah, I guess I'll check it out first. Why not? I should be good here. This is a pathway, right? Yeah, okay. Whoa. Gotta watch out for that bird. Because those stupid birds are above me. Those guys are scary. Yeah, because I want to head over that way. Oh, cool, and I can actually use the claw shot now to get up here. That's cool. No, whoa, no, no, no. No, no, no. Uh-oh, no, 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 what? Uh, I thought I was standing on the solid platform there. You have to restart the entire trial? Okay, but I, I mean, I, I guess I, it's good that you don't lose anything at least. Okay, can I get this guy from here? I'm going to grab onto your rock. Oh, if I can aim, that'd be great. Haha! -ha! Yeah, that's what I thought. Wanna come back here? Where'd you go, huh? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? There you are. Get out of here. That's what I thought. Okay, I gotta be more careful. <laughs> Let me, uh... Yeah, so what I really want to do is claw shot over that way, because that'd be kind of a shortcut. I want to get over here. To see if maybe that's the, uh... Okay, this looks good now. This is stable. So then what messed me up before? That's a platform. Okay, I think I'm fine here then. What the heck? 
Oh, my t I'm too far to the left. Okay. Oh, I can't reach that from here. Okay. I don't think so, bird. Little cramorant looking dude. Okay. These are definitely going to help traverse, uh, or make traversal a lot faster. Yeah, so it's in there, that cave over there. That was one of the areas I was thinking maybe that's where I need to go next. It was really funny. I had a... I'm pretty sure I posted the clip on uh, on Twitter, actually. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay. I'll just chill down here. All good. Hello, yes, I would like a fairy. There we go. Um, one of the, uh, I was fighting a moblin, I think it was in Faron Woods, where literally, like, I was just wailing on him with the sword, and he just didn't even notice me. It was really weird. Um, am I stuck down here? Am I seriously stuck down here now? Ugh, that's so annoying. I mean, I do have to go over there, I guess, but let me, uh, I'm gonna need my shield. Let me get my shield out. Oh, what? Me Skyward Strike? No. Hi, right, Skyward Strike, please. Okay, never mind. How am I gonna be able to go back around? Can I even escape out of here? I don't know if I can get out of here, honestly. This is going to be super annoying if I can't get away out of here. Actually, wait, I think I might be able to get up to that area I want to go to from here. Hold up. I can just kill this guy. There we go. I can ride his shell over there. I think I can make this. Go, Link! I believe in you! Yeah, just barely. Okay. Yeah, I can get up there from here. Okay, cool. We're good. All good. I thought I was going to be... A little bit stuck for a second. But I think I'm good now. Yeah, the one thing I'm thinking is maybe this might lead to the dungeon. If this does, I kind of want to... I have plenty of time. I kind of want to check out that other area um, near the beginning of the Lenin Desert. I kind of want to check that out first if this is where the actual dungeon leads. But let me see. I'm probably going to have to do some side quests that involves me going back to... Uh, Knowing this game, I'm going to have to go all the way back to um, the Lenay Mining Facility to get some special item for the god in this world. Like, I'm not going to lie, I think it's kind of kind of dumb, to be honest. Oh, okay. Oh, does this just kind of interconnect certain areas? That's good. Gorko! Hey, buddy, what are you doing over here? Is he mining? He's trying to get some, some way through that. You think a bomb maybe will do that? Gorko, there's plenty of bombs over here if you want to use it. What is this? The Lenay Mine. Ahead is... Oh. Oh, the mine itself? Have we been to the mine yet, actually? Oh, wait, that's not Gorko. Golo. This... So there are more Gorons. Okay, that's cool. The Legend of the Three Dragons. One of which is said... Oh! Right, so there are dragons in this game, because Faron was the dragon in the Faron Woods, obviously. I'm guessing there's a dragon in the neighbor here. Not the easiest name to say. What do you mean? Link is like so easy to say. It's not a common name for sure. You're looking for a sacred flame. Something about an ancient scrolls, the Lanebru Sand Sea. I, I feel like I've heard of. Oh, the Sand Sea. Is this? Are we gonna be able to get like fight like the robot pirate dude? Because I've seen that before. I think that's the Sand Sea area, right? If you go straight through here, okay. Oh. Straight through there, I need a key. Okay. If you want to get to the Lenebrus Hansi, you're going to need this key. Oh! <laughs> he gave me the key. Cool. Okay. Good luck to you. You know, I can help you out, dude. You want me to help you out here? I want to watch out. <laughs> Look at that. Now I can get in. See? Oh, okay, there's a little area I can crawl in through there that uh, I can't get to now, but um, I'm sure I could later. Is it worth blowing up any of these guys? 
Maybe some of these rocks have something over here, I'm not sure. What if I use the heart there? There might be something. I'm not seeing anything there. Let me try with the heart. But it looks like whatever, he just straight up- I don't know how he had the key. Yeah, and there are more Gorons, it's awesome. Oh, sh uh, Gossip Stone, right. I thought it was Gorgo for a second. Oh, whoa, that's cool. That's one of those, uh, those are some kind of rare item there. What is this? Why is there a chest lying around? Where did these come from? I swear there wasn't there when I showed up here before. It's just a monster horn, okay, that makes sense. Right out in the open, I figured it would've been a common item. You latch onto it and pull. Oh, right, because the monster horns are what some of the- that's cool. Because some of the Bokoblins use the monster horns, I think, to summon allies. So if I can maybe use the whip to grab the horn before they use it, then they won't call in reinforcements. That's cool. That gives the whip a, a cool use right there. The Nehru Sand Sea is my favorite area in the game. Really? Awesome. I definitely, um, looking forward to check it out. I think I'm just going to check it out in a bit here. Um, let's roll it down. There we go. Right in there. There's got to be some kind of valuable rupees in there, right? Yeah, five and a one. That's something crazy. But it's better than nothing, I suppose. Okay. Um... What time am I at? 8.36. Okay, I've got a little more time. I don't know if I'm going to be able to... I'm probably not going to be able to make it to the start of the dungeon in this stream. But you know what? That's okay. Next stream... I'm just guessing the next stream then might possibly be... Um, a little longer then. If I'm not going to be able to make it to the start of the dungeon in this stream... Then the next stream... I'd have to... Um, do whatever I need to do to get to the dungeon, and then, in addition, do the dungeon itself, which might take a bit. So, we'll see. Maybe not, though. Sometimes the dungeons aren't too bad. I think the little neighbor mining facility, I think, was the longest one for me, personally. If I remember correctly. The ancient cistern, I didn't think was too, too bad. But, although the Skyview Temple did mess me up, just trying to figure out those how to kill the stupid skull pillows. That took forever. That shouldn't have taken that long, but it did take a while. Um, cool. Okay. Let me see. So I'm I'm ready to go over there. I kind of Okay. So yeah, I can go in there. I can't go this way where or, or Golo, I think his name was, where he is. He's blocking the way. But I kinda wanna check out You know, there's got there's definitely there's gonna be a bird statue over here, so let me do this first. Oh, I'm stupid. I gotta use the, the claw shots up there. There's only, it looks like there's only one more major item I have to get in this game. So I'm guessing that's just the bow and arrow, right? Because the bow and arrow is in this game, if I'm not mistaken. Well, I don't know. Maybe they would just... I, I doubt they would just leave Link with the, uh, the slingshot. But you never know. No, because there was something that I needed specifically a bow and arrow for. A report, Master. The Lanayru Sand Sea. This whole area was once a vast ocean. But the water's all evaporated. Okay. This was this was one of my theories before. Like, I was wondering, because Lanayru's usually the water area of the Zelda games. Like, would I have to somehow restore the water to the land? This maybe, maybe would be uh, something we have to do here. I don't know. It function as a port. Yeah, I can see it. Cool. Okay. Yeah, kind of like Lake Floria last time. I'm expanding the Lanayru area. Cool, okay. Cool, cool. Operate on a new form of power. Okay, yeah, the Sacred Flame's gonna be- the next dungeon's gonna be this way. Makes sense. I will explore the Sand Sea, thank you. Let me f I want to find the closest bird statue, though, because I do want to- There was that other area at the very beginning of Lanayru that I could check out. Oh, yeah, this is literally gonna be- I love this. I love, like, the- the wall clinging thing, where you have the double claw shots and you kind of just shoot across. Twilight Princess, this was literally the Argorok boss fight, was doing this over and over again. And, like, climbing the tower and it was super stormy. That was my favorite boss in that game, was Argorok. That was really fun. Oh, no! Oh, was that a bug I needed? That's probably a bug I needed. No, okay, Deku Hornet, never mind. That's probably going to be in the Pharaon area. I never found that one, I guess. Uh, I definitely can't make that, so let me, uh, flash that over there. 
There's a bird statue right there. We're good. I need some more bombs, actually. I'm gonna grab a few while I'm here. Might as well suck up. But yeah, then I want to quickly check out that other area that I can now get to with the claw shot before. That I, I couldn't do it before, but now I can. So I want to check that out, and then I'll just come back right here. Luckily, it was right at the beginning of the Lenebra area, so it won't take long to do. I can just drop right back in after I go up to the sky and then just go up there. I'm guessing it probably just leads to where Golo is, if I had to guess, but I want to check it out just to just to check, because check everything in a Zelda game if you can, right? Tumbleweed. No. Give me the net. Yeah, there we go. Oh, come on. Not great timing there. Bye bye, little guy. I remember those electric choo choo specifically, and a link to the past gave me a lot of trouble. What? Where'd you come from? What the heck? Like, I legitimately don't know where they came from. Oh, come on. That's cheating. There we go. Okay. There's a lot of those guys around here, huh? Yeah, I'll take some of this up first. Why not? Whoa, ants. Gross, but whoa. Get him on net. I feel like these were actually... I remember... I think I sold some of these to... Uh, um, what was his name? Stritch. I sold some of them to Stritch, I think. they were. I think the ants were worth a decent amount, so... Uh, that'd be cool. Oh, there's something over there. Hold up. There's some kind of secret over there. Can I reach it from here? Oh, yeah. Nope. There we go. Oh, there's a whole other area here. That's cool. Nope, I want to do that. Okay. Uh, I know I said I was gonna go back to that other area. I want to explore a little bit first. Whoa. Okay. Yes, I'm sorry. I killed the scorpion. I killed your mother earlier in that previous dungeon. I'm sorry, but also not because you know scorpions and all that. <laughs> Very deadly. That was a lot of them. They just dropped from the ceiling. That was scary. There we go. We got a goddess chest. Or goddess cube. Sorry. That'll unlock something up in Skylock for sure. Cool. Okay. Looks like at one point there was a minecart operating there, but I don't think I can go there now. Oh. That doesn't do anything. I can just climb up here. Okay. Let me see. Yeah, before I get too far... Oh, there's a time shift stone. Wow, there's a time shift stone over there. Okay. I'm gonna save, and then I'm also gonna go back to that other previous area I was talking about. I just want to check to see. Could be some kind of secret over there. I don't know. But yeah, this is definitely where I was supposed to go. So let me... I'm gonna go to the sky really quick, and then just drop right back in. Just so I can get to that starting area and just check it out. Should be pretty quick and then I'll be back here. Cover all my nooks and crannies. Cover all my corners. Make sure I'm not missing anything, you know? I feel like I can beat this game before... Uh... Oh, I was going to drop right back in, right? I feel like I can beat this game before Metroid Dread comes out. I've got a little, just, just over a month. I feel like even with switching off with uh, Donkey Kong Country, which shouldn't take long, after Donkey Kong Country, I'm just going to be streaming fully this again. But I just wanted a little bit of a break, a little bit of a variety, you know? Um, yeah, I'm going to go right back here. Yes, we descend into the mines, and then... Uh, hopefully, I, I feel like I might be able to. I mean, I already have, I think, about 25 hours in this game. And granted, I know, like, especially for a first-time player like me, I'm also exploring a decent amount with the side quests and everything. It's going to take a little bit, but... I, th I mean, I think I'm making decent progress. I like to think. I don't know. Maybe not. Oh, I can get over there, too. I'll ch check that out after. Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh, yeah, Lanayru Caves. Okay, so this literally just leads to the caves. Is it just a shortcut to the caves, then? Is that really all it is? I guess that makes sense. You know, make it a lot easier than just having to go through before, but... At least opening this entrance would be good, so I have access to it later. 
I will say I do like this game does seem to kind of connect areas together, which is good. Um... Oh, interesting. Okay, so that just leads me out there. Okay. Let me go back there, and then I'm going to fly back out, and then go back to the, uh, the Sand Sea. You're a little over 40, and it's almost done, but even still, there's more stuff for me to do, like hard pieces. Yeah, Sloshical. I'm probably not... I don't plan on going after all the hard pieces in my stream series, at least. Um, but you're a little over 40. Okay, you're almost done. So, like, when you say that, like, are you, like, 100%ing the game, I'm guessing? Are you gonna go after, like, everything? All the goddess cubes, all the heart pieces? Or, sorry, pieces of heart. Um. Because I'm, I'm, I think my plan is just to essentially go after, like, what I can find on my own for now. And then, uh, oh. I had none of my shield up. <laughs> that would have been helpful. Oh, okay. Bye-bye, you can stop, thank you. Because if you're going after, uh, everything 100%, I guess that makes sense. Ooh, I don't know. I just, that guy was flying away. I don't know how I got him. There's got to be something up here. Right, if it's letting me go all this way. Oh, it's a chest. Cool. If I had to guess, it's going to be some kind of material. Probably not a piece of heart. Although, that would be nice, but I doubt it. Or, like, maybe 50 rupees. Oh, cool. It's one of those evil crystals. Yeah, those things are actually kind of rare. Cool. Okay. I don't know if I can... There's got to be some upgrade I can use it on, but... Okay, let me... I'll save too, why not? Why the hell not? Always good to save. But yeah, oh wow. I'm exactly at 25 hours now. So I'm not... I don't plan on going after everything in this playthrough. Um, if anything, if I ever revisited this game, which... I probably will in the future. I tend not to revisit Zelda games too, too often. Um, I did... There was an exception where... Ocarina Majora's Mask, because I got the 3D versions. I never played the 3D versions. And also, I just... I, I have a lot of nostalgia for both of those games, so, like... Um... Those, like... Uh, those I might replay, but, like... Oh! I went way too low. What the heck? Okay, where's Lene? <laughs> I, I did not even realize it was going so low. Okay. Um... But, yeah. I, I don't... Because, I mean, Zelda games are pretty long, especially the 3D ones, I find. I, I gotta go back and replay Link to the Past one of these days. Because it's funny, I actually, I think I still have the videos up on the channel, but like, five, six years ago? I think it was, I'm pretty sure it was, it was like five and a half years ago. Um, the Ancient Harbor. I did a, uh, I did a Let's Play. I used to do Let's Plays, like back when I was like making ch content in high school. Um, which, by the way, Let's Plays were just so annoying, because like, Splitting it up into parts and everything, and you know me not enjoying editing. I really, I didn't do much editing for those, to be honest. Um, <laughs> so, I probably should have done editing for those, at least, but I didn't really do that. Um, but I had, like, a four, I think it was, like, a 40-part Link to the Past playthrough. And I'm, I mean, it was my first time playthrough, and I'm not gonna lie, like, at least the Let's Play format, where it's, like, you do, like, maybe, like, I did, like, half an hour, 20-minute, half an hour chunks of that game, and it just, like... I don't know, it kind of, it definitely, because I was so focused on, like, the timing and turning on and off the camera for recording and stuff like that, it definitely, um, I, th I think it hindered my experience a little bit with Link to the Past, because, you know, everybody says Link to the Past is a great game, and, like, I can see why, you know, a lot of people would really like it. It's just, like, in my case, I think with my specific experience, they keep forming together. It's not what I want to happen. Stop it. Stop forming back together. Stop it. Stop it. Uh. I'm just going to let you chill. I'm not even going to bother. You know what? <laughs> I'm not even going to bother. But I think that that Let's Play I did, that was literally... Oh, let me guess. Fi's going to tell me... Master, your hearts are low. Well, guess what? I've got a potion, Fi. Do the potions heal more than the fairies? I think they said fairies were only six hearts. I think the potions are eight. That's weird. Interesting. Looks like I have to go this way. There's a time shift stone over here. Let me at least try to navigate this area first. 
I'm sure, like, they're gonna tell me, oh, you have to go back to the Lanayru mining facility and do this. And I'll be like, okay, whatever. And then I gotta go do all this. But I'll probably save that for next stream. Oh, there's a boat. Okay, cool. Oh! Oh, this is sick. Because, yeah, like I said, there used to be water here. Now, because we're using the time shift stone, it actually does show up. Skippa! The proud skipper of the ship that protects Nehru's flame. Okay. Day of the storm. My crew and I were navigating the seas. That's so That's so cool, honestly. I love that, like... Look, 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 this is so weird, because it's like we have this radius of just water and everything else is desert. So weird. Attacked by pirates, okay. But you are a pirate, so... <laughs> Okay. So they were attacked, and I guess so he's the guardian of the, the, the Nehru's flame, it sounds like. Turn the ship invisible and are hiding out somewhere. Invisible? Oh, interesting. Okay. So Nehru's flame is on the ship? Is the ship the dungeon? Because that'd be cool. I will help you, my friend. I'll help. Why not? We gotta find the crew. This is the one, like, LD robot that doesn't hate Link. <laughs> All the other ones are like, yeah, you stupid human, and stuff like that. If you're going to navigate these treacherous waters, you'll need a proper sea chart. Oh, we're getting to Wind Waker territory here. <laughs> In my shack at Skipper's Retreat. Sure, but I don't know where, Skip where where's your retreat. Is this going to be, like, a legitimate, like, sailing thing? Are they really pulling a Wind Waker here? My circuits spark to life in the salt air. Let's see if I can remember how to navigate. Okay, yeah, so this is... I think this is gonna be, like, a Wind Waker. Like, a, a, a miniaturized Wind Waker, like, Great Sea kind of thing. Okay, oh, wow. No, really? No motion controls. How do we actually use the, the left stick? And ZR to ready the cannon. ZR. Oh, maybe we, maybe we aim with the cannon. Maybe that's what we do. Okay, that's how we get to... This house, so we can get to the uh, we get the sea chart. It's here on the island we want, where we can dock. Okay, cool. Let me uh, place a marker right there. Off we go, skipper. Oh, interesting. Okay, it's definitely not exactly like Wind Waker, but it's uh, interesting. Okay, and the cool thing is because the ship like straight up absorbs the time uh, the time shift stone. You know, we can actually just explore the sea. It's not like we have to constantly hit other time shift zones in the area. We can just kind of go. This is cool. I like it. Is there anything that I can explore underwater? I'm guessing probably not, right? Very colorful. It's pretty. I like it. See, this is more like the, the typical Lanayru area you'd think of, right? But then... Okay, now that's that's just got to be coral or something. For a second, I thought those were like likes. They looked straight out of Ocarina of Time, like like likes there. So I was just like, that's a little scary. Um, unless that was supposed to be a reference to that, but I don't think so. I think that was just some barnacles of coral or something down there. It looks funny, though. It looks interesting. Okay. Let's get that sea chart of his. Ooh. Nice place you got here. Oh, but you got moblins everywhere. Was that a pea hat? Did I see a pea hat there? I don't know there are pea hats in this game. The very top. Wow. You see, I can't fly, so... There are more monsters about than before, so be careful. Okay. You chill at the boat. I'll go get your sea chart for you. Oh, at least it's a bird statue. They're here, though. That's nice. 854. Yeah, I can explore Skipper's Retreat now. I might as well. I'll see how long this takes or how far I want to get, but I'll probably be ending the stream in a little bit, but... I got some time. I still got time. What is this? This looks like the whip. No. What? No. Or it's just uh, maybe it's just zipline down. I'm guessing then. Okay, it's probably just to get back here. It looked like I could do something with the whip, but I guess not. I was mistaken. Oh no 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 no. 
<laughs> See, I kind of want the heart. It's not worth the risk. Not worth the risk. You're gonna go? Hey, yeah, thanks for hanging out, Sloshical. Uh, it's good to see you again. Hope you hope you recover soon, like, fully soon from COVID, too. Hopefully, we'll get plenty of rest and, uh... Yeah, do whatever you gotta do to keep yourself happy, I guess, in order to hopefully recover soon. But, uh, yeah, hey, thanks again. Have a good night. Okay, claw shot. Yeah, claw shot. Up we go. Yeah, what? P hats? This is the first time I've seen P hats in this game. Interesting. I didn't know they were in this game. That's cool. Can I use the claw shot on it? Oh, what the heck? So are they not bad? Oh, hold up. There's a little, uh, there's a thingy there. Wait, hold up. There was something similar in Twilight Princess where I could legitimately move around with... Yeah, can I move this guy? Ah, uh, unfortunately, it doesn't look like I can move him. But I do want that chest, which I should be able to get from here. I didn't even realize I could go over here at first. Okay. Oh. Interesting. Okay. There we go. Oh, but the thing is, how the hell do I get over there? There's no... Huh. That's weird. There's no... Yeah, there's no claw shot over there. I thought I just saw one, though. Maybe it's around the other bend of the platform. Let me check again. Oh, yeah, I see it. Okay, there's one right there. But how am I going to get over there? Hmm. Oh, actually. It might let me... Because in previous games, you could hookshot onto chests. So let me see if I can reach it, actually. Let me try. I don't know if I can reach it from here, though. Is the, the issue. I think it's uh, a little too far for me. And I can't get that other guy over there, unfortunately. But what if I... Hold on, I have an idea. I have an idea. Oh, uh, hold on. What? Oh, no, I was hoping I could grab onto it. Rats, okay. Never mind. Okay. It's not gonna let me do, like, the, uh... Yeah, okay, no, because it's just it's right next to the ledge. Okay, that makes sense. I was kind of hoping I could do, like, kind of the wall cling thingy. Um. I can't move him anyway, right? Yeah, because I'd love to move him closer. Hmm. Oh, well. I don't know what I can do then. This, maybe this, there's got to be another way of accessing that area. Oh, Joy, one of my favorite enemies. It's a big one, too. I love it. Stop it! Stop it! Uh. Okay. What the heck? These guys are giving me way too much trouble than it's worth. There we go. Okay. Get away into this cave, and then hopefully that'll lead me somewhere up there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was good. That was funny. I thought I was far enough away. My bad. My bad. Ah! This game... Oh, my... No. Don't... What? No. No, no, no. Don't even try with me. This game knows I hate those electric choo-choos. <sighs> Stupid things. Can I reach it from here? No, that's way too far away, actually. There's definitely a way I get over there, but... I don't I don't think I can get that from here. Uh, there's a platform there. Oh, I was just there, I think. Never mind. If I ran and jumped, I don't think I would make it, though, would I? I don't think I would. Uh, I might be able to make that. Let me... Worth a shot. Nope. <laughs> it's worth a shot. Oh, I wonder... I can technically... Hmm. 
No, hold up. I'm trying to think because there's no way. I can't reach it from here. Close, actually, but not quite. If I could... I really want that chest, and I think I can get a... I think I know a way I can get it. Let me see. I'm gonna try... If this doesn't work, I'm just gonna give up. Because, <laughs> like... I think I have a little bit of time to, like, run in the sand and then, um... Use the claw shot quickly. Let me see, though. Come on! Yeah! No. Okay. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it. I don't think. Well, I feel like I might be able to. You know, it's like it's right there. Like, come on. It's so close, and I can't reach it from here, right? I don't know why I'm putting this much effort into a chest. Actually. Can I jump off from there? I'm gonna try one more time. My brute force method. Yeah, okay, it's not gonna work. I figured I'd try. Might as well. Okay. Well, that ain't gonna work now, Link, is it? Let me... I'm getting hungry. I think I'm gonna watch uh, Iron Man 3 tonight. I'm still on my... Uh my Marvel movie marathon since I recently got like a, a year's worth of Disney Plus. Um, well, that was like a month ago, I guess, but still. Um, I just watched Thor 2 The Dark World last night and like, that is not a good movie. Like, I remembered it not being great and even when watching it, I was like, it's still, it's probably one of the weakest Marvel films. I didn't, I did not rewatch the, uh, the Hulk movie because it's not a Disney Plus and like, it's so weird, because, like, I can't tell if they count it in the MCU. Because, like, a... What? Bye, shut up. I know. Excuse me? Yeah, potions do more, uh... They restore more health than fairies. Interesting. What the hell happened there? I think I, like, pressed B to let go instead of, like... Actually doing what I was supposed to do. Um, where am I trying to go from here again? There we are. Okay. And this time, let's get up to the ledge, please. There we go. Okay. Yay, dirt! I never thought I'd be so happy to see dirt. Oh, I'm not getting any of those guys. Oh, well. Bye-bye. More ants. Lots of ants. There was a lot, too. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> weren't weren't worth that much, that's for sure. Okay. Um, nothing else here. Hello, Mr. Moblin. Oh crap! He's got a, a steel shield. I don't like that. That's not good. How am I supposed to get him? I wonder. Can I? Whoa. That's not good. Whoa! Now I want it to do. Up you go. Oh, wait. Okay, that works. Watch out! Exposed. Oh, that literally killed him. Okay. Bombs do a lot of damage to moblins, apparently. Good to know. Oh, come on. There we go. This isn't it, right? This has got to be just some rupees or something. Yeah. 20 rupees. That's a good amount. That's a solid amount. Um, okay. I'm getting there. There's still a little bit I have to explore. Oh, right. Those guys go down with the whip, I think. Oh, maybe the claw shot will take them out, too. I could test it out. Nah, it looks like just the whip, honestly. Oh, wait. Actually, no, no. Hold up. Whoa. Okay. Get your tail on down here, boy. Come on. Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. I'm killing an old bird. Some kind of ancient bird that probably shouldn't die. What is this? 
That looks like a whipping to me. Interesting. Oh, it's a pea hat. Hello, pea hat. The pea hats are like good in this game. Wait, does this one just fly around? Was it an enemy or what is it? Whoa, where are you going? Where are you going? No, 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 please. Grab on. There we go. Oh, I'm so close. Come on. I know I can reach you. Come on. There we go. Thank you, Mr. P Hat. See, why do they call them P Hats? They don't even look like peas with hats. They're just. I don't know. They're weird, floaty things. Get him on that. Okay, never mind. I tried. It's all good. What was the point? Oh, okay. I was going to say, what was the point of going up here? Oh, wait a second. Is that a Deku Baba right there? I feel like if I go there, it's not going to end well. Is there a way I can take out that guy first? Oh, yeah. I'll cut him off. Bye. There we go. Oh, I wish I could get that ruby. Oh, well. Another time, I suppose. I'm excited to start Donkey Kong Country. I think that'll be a fun time. It's gonna be tough, but it'll be fun. Because I've never actually, like I said before, I've never actually uh, completed the game. Come on, do it again. Whoa, I didn't see you there. I didn't know there were two birds here. There we go. No, oh, come on. Ah, rats, okay. I'll wait, I'll be patient, maybe, possibly. I'm not a very patient person. <laughs> At all. There we go. Get down here. And he's done. Cool. Uh, oh, what's over here? Just a bunch of cacti? Oh, there's a chest, though. Okay, this is good. This is something I could use. Probably just rupees. Or materials again. I don't know. That's it? It's just a monster horn? Come on. Come on. Watcha! That was weird. Okay. Guess you can't actually cut the cacti down. I thought you could. I guess not. Okay. See, if there's an Nintendo Direct this week, I feel like there wouldn't be enough time to announce it ahead of time. I feel like that'd be a, kind of stressful for, like, media especially. The other thing I was thinking is, like, um, excuse me? Hi, yes, I would like to hook shot onto you. Thank you. No! Oh, well, I'll wait. Um, I was also thinking, like, I mean, if there's going to be a Nintendo Direct, I mean, I might... I definitely would want to try to record some kind of reaction to it. Maybe even do, like, a, a predictions video. At least a bingo sheet. Please go, come on, please. Uh... There we go, come on. Yeah, there we go. Go down again. There we go. Smooth moves there. Warrior wears smooth moves. Okay. Oh, that leads right down there? Awesome. Okay. This is cicada somewhere. I don't know where, though. That's gotta be a way in, but what's up here, actually? Probably where the cicada is. Oh, I see you. I see you chilling up there, cicada. Oh, but I can't get up there? Okay. Okay. His sea chart's gotta be in here, though. I might end it after I get the sea chart. We'll see. I'm not sure how long it's actually gonna take to do some of this stuff. Whoa! Oh no, more scorpions, of course. How many scorpions are we talking about? Oh, hello. And goodbye! Oh. Look, another use for the gust bellows. That's cool. Ooh. There's a chest there. We like chests. <laughs> we love games. Why does he have paintings on the ground? This place really, uh... Really needs some touch-up, huh? Poor robots here, too. What the heck? They are lost to time. But he's got plenty of treasure here. I like that. I think that's everything. Plenty of amber. I like that. Definitely need that for some upgrades. I guess I should have checked for upgrades while I was at Skyloft, but 
Eh, all good. All good. Alright, this has to be the sea chart, right? There we go. It looks it looks pretty similar to the sea charts in Wind Waker, so that's the, this is 100% a callback to Wind Waker, but I like it. I appreciate it. One of these days I'll replay Wind Waker in Twilight Princess HD, but probably not for a bit because, you know, Zelda fatigue and everything. Um, wow. Is that his entire crew? That's a big crew. It would indicate. He clearly liked his crew. So, the ship is the dungeon itself? Because that's where the flame is. That's kind of cool if the ship is the dungeon. That's actually really cool. I like that idea. Um, cool. Okay, well, we got that. Now... I think I'm good here, honestly. Let's head back down. Woo! Yay, zipline! Oh, I, could be, I was kind of hoping it'd be, like, super fast. That wasn't that fast. Hey. Nice. Get out of here, you stupid Deku Baba. Don't give me any trouble anymore. I'm done. Oh, no, 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 Can I go up? Can I go up, too? Maybe? Please? Oh, yes, okay. I was gonna say, there's a guy, I just saw the goddess chest right there, and I'm like, if I had to climb all the way back up just to get to it, I would have been a little ticked off, but... Almost missed ya. Okay, but it says I should be able Yeah, I can claw vines, which is definitely useful. I'm pretty sure you can do that in, in uh, Twilight Princess as well, so... It's kind of... I mean, this game is really an amal... It's, it's interesting because it's an amalgamation of, like, a lot of the mechanics from previous Zelda games, along with some new mechanics that would show up in Breath of the Wild. But it's the origin story. You know what I mean? To everything. So it's kind of interesting how they do that, but... I'm liking it so far. It's a good game. I'm a little fatigued by it, but not too, too bad. You know what I mean? But at the same time, part of me wishes I was already done with it now, because, like, I do want to get onto other games. And, um, I mean, as long as I beat it before Metroid Dread, I mean, I'm going to be streaming it for a little while longer, I know. But, like, as long as I beat it, that's really my goal is to beat it before Metroid Dread. The other thing I'm considering, I might make a poll for this, honestly, is that I've never played a Monkey Ball game before, but uh, Monkey Ball Banana Mania comes out, I think, just a few days before Metroid Dread, and it looks really good, and I kind of want to get it, and it's only 40 bucks, so it's actually, like, not bad. I mean, the DLC is expensive, but everything else is, um, is not too bad. Um, you know what, let me, let me do a little more, a little bit more. Because I want to make sure I, I, I want to try to give myself as much time as I can for the uh, the dungeon next time. So I'm really... Let me at least give him the sea chart and then go explore whatever the next area is. Let's go look for my ship. Skip up, uh, let's go. Um, But I might... I mean, I want to get the game at some point. I wasn't I wasn't sure if I was going to get it right away just because Metroid Dread's coming out literally right around the same time. Um... Oh, wow, that's a big area. Okay. That's a big area. Well, I'll put a marker there. Put one there, too. I want to check it. What's I want to see what's over there. We used to build our ships. And find some clues. Okay. Let me see what's in this other area first. I kind of want to check out that island first, and then check out the shipyard. I'll just... I'll, I'll end the stream at whatever the next... Uh, the next, um, whatchamacallit, uh, bird statue is at, and then I can save there and then end the stream there. Um, so going a little over, but most of these parts do anyway, so it's like, it was whatever. It's a Zelda game, it's a 3D Zelda game at that, so it's they're gonna be longer. Hard to time everything perfectly, but... Oh yeah, and I forgot I have the cannon too, actually. Oh, that wasn't good. I completely forgot I have this cannon, so what's over here, actually? I can, uh... Oh, can I... Oh, can I not stop the ship here yet? Interesting. Okay, I guess it won't let me go over there. Never mind. Off to the other shipyard area. But yeah, I'm actually... I'm considering because Monkey Ball comes out right around then. And like, if I do... I'm debating because do I want to stream just Metroid Dread? Or do I want to switch off with like... Monkey Ball, for instance. I think it would be a cool one. 
to check out both of those, because they'll both be pretty new, and, like... I'm especially excited for Metroid Dread, but Monkey Ball's looking really good, especially with some of those unlockable characters. I'm not... The DLC's a little overpriced, I'm not gonna lie, especially... Well, mainly those, those single skins, like Morgana, like Hello Kitty, and the Monster Rancher, which I've never even heard of before this. Um... Those characters are five bucks each, which is actually kind of a lot, so I really don't like that. Ooh. Gotta watch out for these uh, explosive barrels here. Those are a little scary. I don't think so. There's a whole line of them. Fire the cannons! There we go. Okay. Where's the shipyard? Right over there? Okay. Gotta go around the other end, though. Why are there so many of them? Stop it. What? Oh, hello. And goodbye. <laughs> wow, that would not be good if they hit me with any fire arrows. There's a lot of monsters over here, clearly, still. Yeah, I definitely want to get rid of these guys first. There's a lot of them, jeez. I have, I have a feeling if I hit these barrels, it's not going to end well. Big squad of them, okay. There we go, we're at the port at least. Wow, the shipyard, okay, this is a big area. Wait, please tell me there's a, there's a minecart? That's cool. That'll go well with the, uh, that'll go in terms of pairing with the Donkey Kong Country, because the minecart levels in that game actually, that's funny. But yes, I might put a poll up for Monkey Ball. I'm, I'm considering it, just because, like, I think there's three different games. I think it's Monkey Ball 1 and 2 and Deluxe, I think, are in the game. I'm guessing you can choose them separately, but I'm also not sure. Um, but I'm definitely considering getting it, because I would love to try out Monkey Ball, especially on Switch with the gyro. I mean, it just, it looks really good, and like they said, it's going to run at 1080p60 and Switch. And, like, with Gyro, it's going to be really cool, so... Um, that's where the workers live, too. Okay. Oh, there's a, there's a bird statue right there. Cool. So, I mean, yeah, I would... I would uh, the entrance is closed. Okay. Uh, that, that's an idea. To stream off... If, if I want to switch off with Metroid Dread instead of just only streaming Metroid Dread. Like, the, I think... With Dread, I mean, Dread's probably not going to be as long as this game. This game, because it's such a long game, it... It's a little bit fatiguing, because that's that was all I was streaming for, like, a month. Or a month and a half, almost, actually. A little over a month. Um, and now I'm just switching it up a bit, so, like, it might be good to get some variety in there. Um, but I'll see. I'm not fully decided on that yet. I am streaming Metroid Dread 100%, though. That is certain. That is certain. That's happening. As soon as I can get my hands on a physical copy of that game, I didn't pre-order it. I don't plan on pre-ordering it, but once I get it... Um, yeah, I gotta get it around to the other side. Okay. Um, once I pre-order it, I am definitely going to try to, uh, to stream it, and that'll be fun. I'm just, like I said, I'm really hoping I can complete this game before Metroid Dread. But then it's also tough, because, like, I wanted to have the Donkey Kong Country there, which will last at least a few streams, you know, to switch off with this, just for the variety's sake, but we'll see. I mean, if this bleeds into the Metroid Dread time a little bit, it's not the end of the world. Um, okay, I'm going to end the stream here. It's getting a little late. Um... And I will start off with the shipyard next time. I'm guessing this isn't the dungeon. Probably just another bigger area I have to explore. But luckily, I don't know if I have to go back to the Lene Remining Facility. I'm really hoping I don't. That'd be great. Because um, I don't want to do that. Kind of like with the Skyview Temple. Because it just it just felt like extra padding. I'm not going to lie. It felt like a little bit extra. Just for the sake of having more gameplay. And like there wasn't a lot of new things to really explore in... Uh, the Skyview Temple when I when I went again last time, so I don't know. It was uh, you know, it was only it, it was like I don't know, not that fun to do that. But hopefully, I don't have to do that with the Linear Mining Facility again. Although I did like that dungeon; it was my favorite one so far. It's just like if there's not a lot else to explore, really, it's probably not worth it. But maybe we're safe. I don't know. Either way, next time I'm going to be starting off with the shipyard, and hopefully, I mean, if I get to the dungeon, I'm just gonna push through it and try to. I, that's what I'm. I'm just. That's the only thing I'm worried about is maybe the next part will be part 13 will be a little longer um just because if i get to the next dungeon i'll want to complete it in that stream um definitely not sp split off a dungeon into another stream 
Um, but speaking of that, that will be Thursday. So not Tuesday. Tuesday, starting at 7 p.m. Eastern time, will be Donkey Kong Country. That'll be the first part of that. I don't know how long, long this game, uh, the game is going to take. Maybe I'm hoping just like a few streams maximum. Um, but I'll be switching off with that uh, starting on Tuesday. And then next Thursday, again, at 7 p.m. Eastern, will be the next part of Skyward Sword with the shipyard. Explore more of the Lanayru sand scene. It should be a good time. But... Until then, thank you all for watching. However you watch, like I say every time, I don't, need, I don't need to repeat it. I say it so many times. I don't need to repeat it. I do it every time. Um, I appreciate however you watch. I do appreciate the interaction. Um, thank you to whoever subbed recently, by the way. Someone subbed. I saw that. Um, yeah, just it's, it's, I appreciate it a lot. And uh, if I'm playing games here, I'm just chilling, and you guys are enjoying it. It's, it's a win-win situation, right? say that every time i gotta figure out a better way to end these honestly but that's gonna do it for now so enjoy the rest of your weekend um if you have tomorrow off for labor day which i do i hope i hope you know if you have a job unless it's like a super essential job i hope you have the day off um take the time to enjoy it off with family friends or even just yourself do whatever you want to do to have a good day and make yourself happy and uh if you still gotta work i'm sorry but hopefully um the week will fly by hopefully but if it's an Nintendo Direct, it'll certainly will. But if there is, I'll you know I'll be covering that in some way, at least a reaction to it. Hopefully live, maybe not. It might be recorded. Anyways, I will see you all on the next stream. Take care. In the meantime, I'll see you then.